We've... <laughs> eh. We've dueled to save the world. We've dueled to graduate high school. But that was the past. And this is the era of turbo duels. Join us as Shibuya Gato. <laughs> something something pursuit chaser on the first day of Pride Month. Shora. I activate Morphtronic TikTok. It's gonna be Fortnite. <laughs> Calamity <laughs> Carl. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you, trans is your phone. Bio Roxas. <laughs> Friends don't pay the bills. <laughs> and KZ Excellent. Bio hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Use the power of the Millennium Microphone to race to the finish and discover what the five Ds even means. Holy shit. I don't think I want to know anymore. It's it's a burden some of us must bear. By some of us. What are we, wait, what, what are we finding out this this series? What, what the five Ds even means? <laughs> <sighs> what does five Ds mean? Five, we'll, five we'll, dimensions. We'll find out as we watch the show. Yu Gi Oh Five D. I'm pretty sure they reveal it to us, and if they don't, then I, I feel cheated, and I want my time back. Folks, how are we doing? This month, though, I'm May was rough. Doing. May oh. sure was something. What? May, the month of May. Oh, like the meme. What? The last. It's gonna week. be May. The meme. No, it was May. No, I'm talking about the month of May was shitty. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. It's the... <laughs> 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 done. Locked. <laughs> gonna fucking throw up. <laughs> Awesome! Holy <laughs> shit! I thought we wasted all our crackhead energy on the pre-show discussion because the shit was wild. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking puke. <laughs> I don't <Man>. feel well. <laughs> Maybe it's all that skibbity Fortnite, Carl. Maybe you should stop ingesting no, so much skibbity no. Fortnite. No, never. Give it. I need my funny little dog dancing. You do. <laughs> Is that it? You just you do? Yes. Oh, you're trying to goad me into it? I see your fucking plans. You're just using me for my dog. Yeah, I was pretty transparent with it earlier, too. Oh, that's fair. How are we doing, everybody? Not good. Uh, I'm doing. Hell yeah. I feel damaged. Yeah. What, what happened? You good, man? I feel weakened. <laughs> Something happened? I don't know why. I can't really explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the sake of the, the video viewers who weren't here for the live recording, um, this may or may not have something to do with it. Just keep that image in your mind, and he's gone. Right. It actually has nothing to do with it, because that was something that you've done, and I respect it. Well, unlike, no, that was, that was something I asked Shore yeah, to do, and Shore went above and beyond. Unlike the actions of someone beyond. else out there in the world. Yeah. yeah. Man, those people on Twitter. Yeah, that's rough. true. They're the kind of people that make make fun of dead family members. Like, they're weird over there. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right. Uh, Holy guacamole. Uh, the video, video viewers are getting a jump scared in three, two, one. This was also part of the pre-show, and it's gone. And that's it. That's all, that's all buddy. That's all so, it is. Hey, I hope you saw it for the two seconds it was on screen. The I hope you didn't. The Yu-Gi-Oh set came out. Rarity Collection 2. That's yeah, I bought two boxes cool. of it. That's so awesome that I tried to go to a card store like four separate times while we were in Chicago, and then I wasn't able to go to a single one. That was great. Oof, sorry did to I, hear that. Did I it's show you guys fun, my, my uh, Mega Man NT Warrior like card map that I bought? Oh. Yeah, I thought it was like a mouse pad, but it was a, it was not. Yeah, well, it might, it might so be a cool. desk we about map. to say podcast, I... and I was about to get up and leave. <laughs> say what? <laughs> Nothing, don't worry about it. Uh, what, what you got might have been a desk mat, which is meant for, like, uh, just using with with your mouse and your keyboard setup. Oh. And, like, absolute worst case, you could still probably just use it as that. Mm, pretty cool. So, like, hey. I don't I don't fully understand fucking... Yu-Gi-Oh players that much mm -hmm. yeah, anymore because uh Rarity Collection 2 is out and fucking it's a good ass set. 
they 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 pre warned everybody that it was going to be like fucking nostalgia cards and like reprints of shit that fucking you know <laughs> that people wanted at some point. I'm just because the last Rarity cool. collection was like significantly better than this one. I guess so, in terms of so if you so if you ba- so if you cards, base yeah. it on like we're doing a two a two for a previous set, they kind of have like the standards of that previous that previous one. I guess. I'm just happy to get fucking uh, <laughs> more printings of re- of Rescue Cat and High Rarity. Also, yeah. I finally got my hands on a fucking Dragoon. So, you know, I'm okay with oh. that. Let's go. That's, a, that's getting a rework for Dawn Trail. I knew it. As soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as, soon as you piped up, I was like, here we go, baby. I watched a cool video of Duo Decim before the podcast started, and I, huh? I saw Kane in it, and I was like, damn, I miss that boy. He's a Dragoon, right? That that's relevant, yeah, right? Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, you Let's got go. it. God, please, please mm-hmm. put Duodecim on a modern console for sixty dollars. Nothing has changed. No, I'll, I'll just give it online. One v one matches. I'll play it. No, but uh, no, but I want her <laughs> so bad. Too bad. Why no, Carl? Uh, stupid, stinky. Ah, oh, okay, cool. I I, I just wanted to know taste. why you were specifically not not going for it, but we're good now. Oh, I don't even know what we were talking about. I was just kind of saying things. I'm not going to lie. The Dissidia community now has beef with you. Get him, boys. (laughs) Finally. (laughs) Kill him. I've been trying for fucking years. Are you okay over there? Did you get it out? Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) He's got to clear that throat so they can prepare (laughs) for other things. Yeah. Oh, so mean, Carl. I never once been mean in my life. I'm just organizing my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, okay, having that's fun. Wrong. That's just a lie. Yeah, I I was told uh, by most people at Combo Breaker that it was a pleasure to be around me for once. So for I'm gonna, once, I want to take that. <clears throat> no, the, well, Did they specifically end it with for once? I or believe is that the fifth on that. <laughs> Jesus. No, I, I just remember being in that hotel room and reading the tweets about the shit that was going on at that Airbnb and going, man, I'm so happy I'm not anywhere near a bottle of soju or I would be so fucked up right now. <laughs> I didn't even get to have any of the fucking soju. White boy of the year drank it all. <laughs> white boy of the year. Can we specify Here's who that. white boy of the year is on this yeah, one? Right? Oh, I'm talking about our dear friend uh, Jordan. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I thought for a second you might be. McGee. I, I thought for a second uh, well, you might be talking no, about Yucky. Not White Boy of the Year. They participated in two years and lost on both. So. Oh yeah, no. that is true. Oh. Nah, can't give them that title. That is true. <laughs> you had to lose it twice like a fucking loser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that rules. So Yu Gi Oh, am I right? Yu Gi Oh. God. Uh. Man, F- 5Ds really is just oh, keeps really moving. good at its pacing so yep. far. I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm-hmm. And we watched less this time than uh, than last time we got. We, we, yeah. you know. These are only four episodes, yeah. but uh, by, by this point, we know basically everyone in the LP now, which is great. Love, love the dub when that was happens also, in the show. Uh, the dub was also not atrocious, which was nice. Uh, the dub there wasn't were, atrocious? There were a couple of little, little moments, but, but you know. visually... I love when the dub has to cut uh, characters out of a frame <laughs> to hide a thing, and then they cut them out poorly, and I go, something's not right here. And then I watch the sub, something's and I go, it's alcohol. I... Okay. <laughs> I love it when they have to completely redraw sections of the fucking frame. There's a, there are, there's a point where there's a bunch of, like, hookah in yeah, the fucking yeah, bar, yeah, and they have yeah. to change them to orange juice. No, it was so funny. I, I fucking saw it and I went, what do you mean there's hookahs in this bar? This rules. <laughs> Great. Also, yeah. for, some, in here. <laughs> for some fucking reason, uh, they, ha- they also changed the name of the bar in this episode because the bar's name is Bootleg. Bootleg, yeah. But they completely erased the text for no fucking reason. <laughs> yeah, we can't have kids yeah, asking questions I don't think it said bar at the end of it, so I don't see why they had to adjust it at all. It could have just been like, oh yeah, it's an underground dueling dueling place called Bootleg. 
We sell fake cards here. Get we, over it. We're a juice bar. We sell orange juice and milk, and that's it. That's all well, we got in stock, boy. Really do illegal things. We sell orange juice, milk, and counterfeit copies of Max C. Take milk. your pick. So would those counterfeits be called Max C? E? Up. Oh! No, it's still Max C, but the C counts as counterfeit now. Ah, interesting. Okay, thank you. It's for why we can get away with it. <laughs> <sighs> we tried selling a rescue cat called Rescue Ferret, and then they just printed out a new one. They made that shit real. It fucked up our business. God. Just get ready for Rescue Borzoi. Oh not. fuck! <laughs> you know what? We're on a good bit here. Shibuya. What's up? You think Bootleg would sell those old fucking, like, flea market Yu-Gi-Oh cards? The ones that have, like, the full body of Exodia on them and, like, 17,000 attack dude. points? Are you kidding me? They're the only place in Neo Domino that will buy those from the kids who were gifted them uh, at Christmas by their parents who didn't want to spend money on real cards. Because real cards are, like, you know, $6 for a single pack. What is this bullshit? We can get you 100 fake cards for $3, and you're you're better off. It's fine. <laughs> and you take them to the playground, and every kid makes fun of you, and then you're scarred for life. But, you know, that's a separate issue. <laughs> I need a new boss monster for my deck. What do you have? Oh, well, I got Darkly Big Rabbi here. That's, that's a <laughs> fucked up Exodia. I forgot about Darkly Big Rabbi. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hold on. Dude is huge. Dude, look huge. Oh, God, I, I, look can't, these I, I can't stop cards. thinking about the cons conceptual rescue brog. That's real rough. I, yeah. I hate that. Thank you so much. The, the idea Dude. of rescue brog is rough. I want someone to pay me to make that. Fuck, that sounds great. <laughs> of course. Do <laughs> you think I'm working for free? No, I know you're not. No, that's fair. I respect <laughs> no one yours. ever. No one ever implied that. <laughs> I did. We got bills to we got bills to pay right now, bitch. Uh, all right, hold on. I gotta save it because for some reason I tried to drag and drop him into the folder, and uh, he doesn't save as a, a workable image. Here but here's go. darkly big a rabbi. When the Beelzebub <laughs> seal has been untied, what? any enemy will been destroying at minute attack infinity. Uh, call call, call for monster. There. And he's got warrior race. See, Twelve stars. <laughs> It is indeed the warrior race. Hey, we got call from monster. We Dude, got, it's got fucking... real. It's got the little sticker on it. On yeah. the, the got... race warrior starts now. Yeah, you can we tell it's Prince real because of the of that devil's little bitch underworld hardest. God, I love these flea market Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I wish I could. I wish I could fucking like find a place to just buy a bunch of them. They're so well, fucking funny. Shora, you know what's funnier? If we make some. <laughs> I like the idea that it's been so long since they printed these that they also get to be collector's items. It's like $30 <laughs> for Big Rabbi. Someone tries to get 60... one of these graded and the grading company goes, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, grading comes to the other They're like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Give us some money and we'll put it in the shitty plastic box. <laughs> we'll give this one a, a B. Unironically, I would absolutely buy a stack of these just for the fucking nostalgia of them. I, I would buy just a stack of them, not even for nostalgia, just to go over them and be like, alright, what did they think the kids wanted on the playground in 03? <laughs> what, what was the hot shit? I, if I remember correctly, I saw a video of a couple of fucking Yugi tubers who bought a bunch of these and tried to duel each other with them. That's, that's, <laughs> that's content. That's what I call content. They're on eBay for over $300 a pair. Holy shit. Hold on. Now we gotta check this. eBay. I'm seeing a Japanese bootleg copy of Darkly Big Rabbi for 35 But the best part of the Japanese copy is specifically the fact that... The fucking stars don't align with the image. They go too far to the oh, left. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking $50 <laughs> for three different fake Exodias. But awesome. look at these. I forgot they had those weird-ass holographic effects, too. They're like, I play this. Someone's like, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these hollows are uh, this fucking is... gross, actually. That's fine. I can't beat sparkly rectangle. 
Man, they had that shit down before Quarter Centuries ever came out. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Those look like modern Pokemon hollows, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody also should get on the ass of the people who run the fucking, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! pack simulator to make a version of the fucking packs that's just got these in it. Hey, just let us fucking, like, fake pull these. Before Do we, a progression series with them. Before we start talking about, uh... <laughs> the actual episodes uh, uh -huh. i'd like to ask you all this question this mm -hmm. copy of darkly big rabbi on ebay uh it's being sold by on a, an australian seller uh in australian dollars how much do you think this is going for right now like 200 in this condition something absurd 300 yeah even in this condition okay 200 350 Carl, uh. you know, i guess <clears throat> i'm gonna say 250 Okay. Is it? Eight thousand dollars. Very bold <laughs> claim. I respect it. Wait, no, I've in... changed it. I've changed it. One dollar. Okay. Bold claim. I'm I respect. Like it. price is right. The answer is in fact three hundred Australian dollars, or about two hundred USD. And I want you to oh, know damn. that the condition on this, ungraded, moderately played, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Moderate yeah, played right. very oh, good condition Sounds and awesome, bro dude. looks like this. <laughs> Man, a lot of shit must have happened between that greeting and that picture. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> All right. We should probably get into talking about the actual episodes now, so uh <clears throat> Episode eleven. Oh, right, yeah. being followed through the through the neon lit downtown district of They're... neo uh, not new domino city not neo domino that's that might be another fucking series i don't know yeah i have no idea but um yeah a uh, bunch of dudes in suits are tailing you say uh immediately the sub uh just has a bunch of scenes of like people in suits going on a date sipping martinis or whatever and the dub just can't have that so <laughs> we just gotta have you say walking around in, in a back alley with no prior context uh <laughs> they are following this child they they are stalking this man. It, it not a fan. Uh, you you say it's in the kind of a dark alley. It goes into a seedy bar called Bootleg. Um, I fucking love when they gotta cut around all the alcohol in a place. It's so funny. And so uh, good. you it's say not presents... like every kid's parents are like super alcoholics in America or anything. I was about to say, if you as a kid watched Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, your parents were probably alcoholics. <laughs> Man, they got I mean, you're the child days. of a divorce. <laughs> well, I mean, I was already <laughs> that long before Yu-Gi-Oh! started <laughs> airing in America, brother. the most presumptuous brother. statement we've ever made on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters and I am a child of divorce, but that's not related because Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't start airing in the West until oh, like 2001. <laughs> They were, my Bye. parents were still together when Yu-Gi-Oh! started. My parents were separated during 5D, so I couldn't even know if my dad was an alcoholic or not. Well, my dad is an alcoholic, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> yeah, just, just a little 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 on this one. <laughs> Man. Not to like call it chat, but it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. just like, oh, damn, that is so <laughs> Holy shit. This nah, is you know fucked what? We don't... up. <laughs> hey, Daigato, I have parents that love me. I don't. That's the lie. My mom does. I think my parents think that they love me. <laughs> Excuse me? I was thinking yeah, I'm changing that right. every day. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I think my parents think they love me. Just when I think we've passed sure the craziest right. shit we'll say. Did we even start this episode? We did. Yeah, I started forgotten. talking about the bar, and then we got into <laughs> oh, real shit. Yeah, fans you did. children it's of the force. It's already gone. Oh man. Okay. Holy um, shit. I, I, gotta, I gotta bring us back from this. Hold on. Hold on. No, I can clearly, find the problem here was that we were on a we. It's been three oh. weeks and not two weeks. That that that's yeah, why. That's yeah, that, that, that's, that's why we're fucking sickos today. That's true. That's it. Um. I'm trying to find a way back from this part of the conversation and I'm struggling, I'll be real. Uh, so you say he's in this bar uh, and he, he presents the card that's supposed to get him his in to get his dual runner back. Uh, yeah, the, giant Ushioni. Yeah, uh, the, the guy just goes, um, I don't do shit for free, kid. And you say he's like, give me milk. Please. 
He goes, mm, please. Can I get a glass Look at of this milk? Cool Yu-Gi-Oh card. Now give me some milk. Some milk and please. then they use the card as a coaster for the milk, which is the funniest shit because even the bartender doesn't respect the giant Ushioni, and that's so real. <laughs> you say looked offended when he did that too. It was so good. <laughs> You say, I understand that uh, you respect people's favorite cards, but if their favorite card is Giant Ushioni, maybe they should simply get better taste. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. I forget, I was that Ushioni the, like the normal one or the horrible spider one? It was the the horrible spider, spider one. one. Oh, okay, then I, I yeah, get the hatred that's... then. Yeah. To be fair, Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the show are way more durable. That's fair. They're just like, they're throwing them like missiles all the time. Yeah, as we'll see in a bit. Uh, it takes a full-on explosion to fuck up a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Not even the car crash, <laughs> just the explosion. It only, it'll <laughs> only be partially damaged. Yeah, it's, it's got cracks in it like it was made of porcelain or some shit. I, I did not expect the meme of uh, Yusei with his little glass of milk to happen within 15 episodes of this show, but I'm delighted that it did because uh, yeah. I don't know how how much people keep up with merchandise for five days, but they announced an android of Yusei, and he comes with a glass of milk. It's, really, that's it's awesome. so that's good. <laughs> I think this is the only time he does it, too. They're, they're just like, what, did, what are an accessory here? Uh... Only drank milk in one episode. <laughs> and milk's a less complicated accessory than, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh monster <laughs> as as their little oomphy. And they can double up for when they do a Homelander Nendoroid. That's true. Oh, you can God, have the two I, of them fight knew, over it. I knew Homelander was going to come up. Did you guys see that tweet of, like... It, it's Raven. About, he's, uh, he's in Mortal Kombat recently, so I'm sorry. There was, like, some interview or something, and, and the guy that was like, plays Homelander or something was like... I really uh, do not understand how people on Twitter think that this is actually a good character <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it just came out very really not. That's awesome. I, all I saw was um, the news came out about a, a former U.S. president, and I'm not diving further into that. And then the boys' Twitter account Bill immediately Clinton. was like, here's a preview of season four of the boys and it's Homelander in court. And I lost my fucking shit. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> they are, of course, going to capitalize on that. I'm pretty sure the season opener is this. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... I need to catch up with boys so bad. It's it's so rough. Oh, I, I just need to watch oh, it. Oh, yeah, new season's because... this month, so... Yeah. Gotta... Yeah, and I've been... You gotta check out that spinoff show, too. It's, like, directly... That's, yeah. like, the chain of memories for this new season. I was talking to yeah. Alto. They told me good things about the spinoff, so I will also be looking into that. I, I just... Oh, yeah. yeah it's... I need to catch up so I can see Soldier Boy. I have my priorities. You, like... Yeah. Up in the oh, yeah. oh yeah, he's in, he's in one episode of that spinoff show, so you do have to tap in. No, that's even better. I was watching the spinoff, and I didn't know he was in it. But now that I know he's in it, it's worth it <laughs> immediately. You will appreciate what they make him do in that, in that episode. Oh, I've, yeah. I've seen interviews where he went, yeah, no, Kripke made me do some uncomfortable shit, but, like, you know what? It's his vision. Fuck it. <laughs> and I'm like, how uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the boys God. doesn't hold back on this shit, which is the only reason I'm really like, are the, hey, You really bro. are the horse right now going, how hungry? What are <laughs> you your fingers together? How uncomfortable was it? What's the, like, premise for the boys? Mom. Like, anti-heroes? Uh, it's, it's a world uh, of superheroes, yeah. but, like, it's... it's what a if superheroes were capitalists? Superheroes being, like, brands and corporate-owned and some yeah. satire oh. of superhero yeah. media. Uh, the main, the main group, uh, basically want to hold heroes accountable by uh doing whatever means necessary to take them down basically, they use the word cunt a lot basically just the mm -hmm. justice league if the people who said that superheroes need to be uh held responsible for their shit more often were actually sensible and right because the superheroes were fucked up mm. yeah it is interesting but it's a called, very uh, violent show called weeds i've heard of weeds but i've never seen it it's, it's interesting but holy shit is it is it there's not, and uh, there's some very uh, things in it. Yeah, there's some things. There's things in everything. You fucking moron! What are you saying? <laughs> Fuck off, dude! Are you? <laughs> there's things in everything. Like, like there's <laughs> meaning in a trading card. And we're you. back. All right, we need to get back to the fucking episode. We're back, baby. So... Crazy. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't expect someone to bring up the show Weeds that came out in 2005. <laughs> no, I know. Like that's a name I haven't heard since the ancient days. Uh, oh, no. Since I was watching GX on Cartoon Network. Funnily enough. Um, oh shit! So you say immediately leaves the bar. The guys tailing him immediately follow him, uh, and the bartender's just like, "Yeah, no, the guy you're looking for, you don't find him. He finds you." 
So uh, you you say starts walking out, and suddenly a dude on a motorcycle just shows up and goes, "Yeah, I'm the guy." <laughs> And Yusei sort of hesitant to go with him. So he grabs Yusei by the arm and throws him on the back of his bike and just yeah. books it. He just tears we cannot, ass through We this cannot undersell street. how psychotic that scene goes out where they say, all right, now, when you finish your drink, you just quietly go home. And he's quietly leaving the place. And the dude jumps from a roof yes yeah on a motorcycle and if you look at the way it's edited it looks like he brushes yusei's hair with the bike as he almost lands on top of him it was like way too close no he's a pro he's got it that's awesome that's what he's doing oh yeah he's clearly skilled a little too close no it's fine no the best part is uh, when he throws yusei over the back of the bike where there's barely room for a second dude uh and immediately the guys in suits are like, Ch check his tracker. Uh, and you see the <laughs> GPS on the phone disappear and they go, oh, fuck. <laughs> we got to report this. Oh, shit. shit. And then it cuts oh, it cuts back to uh, the dude in Yusei. And he's just holding like a beam to Yusei's yeah. tattoo that prevents him from being tracked. It like blocks the signal. Yeah, I was surprised out. at first because for at least two seconds I went, what, they rip Yusei's face off? Like... <laughs> <laughs> It's just a big old chunk of them's missing, like it's Final Fantasy 16. Oh. <sighs> Is that? Oh. oh. Huh? What's up? Is that what they do? Yeah. They what? rip his face off. No, oh, they. Uh, oh, if you mean like that face tattoo thing, yeah, they just the surgically branding. remove it. Yeah, I, I just I didn't realize that. Well, yeah, it's a tattoo yeah. on the face. It, that. Yeah, it was. It was in one of. Hey, the okay, okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is where he gets uncomfortable. All right, shit. Okay, so they end up back at um. Now the abuser has a problem. So they they end up back at uh, Blister's apartment. Blister's the name of the guy in the dub, side guy in the sub. Um, they end okay. up back at his. Wow, place. what a name! I know it's crazy. Uh, Blister. <laughs> Thank you. I would be. I would have been lost. I, yeah, I, I need to like, check the, the dub sub differences, about? so I have the wiki open. Uh, we're gonna get to the very funny one. Um. They're at his place. He's also and... like vaguely Australian, but the vo the voice actor doesn't fully do the accent all the time. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so the guy's on his laptop and he's like, what do you need? And Yusei goes, I need to break into the top floor of security to get my bike back. And bro gives him the face of like, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> it is so funny how... Frame one, he hears this and he goes, you are fucking insane. And he, then he immediately just goes, well, shit, all right. I, I have a reputation to maintain, so I got to make sure you get this done, because otherwise my name is getting dragged through the mud. So, shit, kid, you sure. sold me. <laughs> <laughs> and in order to get him into the building at all, he figures out, uh, the schedules for patrolling. He figures out the passcodes you say we'll need to get up top. And he gives him a fake ID for any of, like, the, the card scanners. So in the Japanese, they give him a fully fake name, Taro Daimon. Uh, it's, it's very cool. And then in the English dub, <laughs> it is the funniest shit. Because instead they go, nah, your name's Yusei Adams now. <laughs> He's a member of the Adams family. It's oh, great. Good. It's, it's like in JoJo where it's like, actually his name is Cutero. No, Q Cutero so, is top one fake names I've ever seen because it's so stupid, but uh mm -hmm. great. So I decided Only to be bested by Schmaden Schmooky. Yeah. You hear me, Schmaden? I decided to be a little insane with this section of viewing, by the way. Uh huh. Uh, -huh. Mm -hmm. uh I started playing one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! five D's DS games, Which specifically two thousand nine Stardust Accelerator. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Man, that game's not good. Um, <laughs> so, oh good. Oh boy. So you you play as an OC in that game, and you basically take Yusei's place for a lot of shit. Except Yusei's also doing everything in the anime, just behind the scenes while you're doing stuff. But you're going through the same fucking story beats. You, you fucking end up in the facility. You end up in in Neo Domino, uh, and around this point in the game. When you meet Blister for the first time, the game just fucking halts and doesn't tell you what to do. Nice. I didn't think 
I didn't figure this out until I had gone around and dueled every person available in the city at that point. Oh, God. Only to find out that all I had to do was go and talk to a kid and do a structure deck duel with him to get the next part of the game to activate. <laughs> Jesus. And it gets worse because this next section about, like, going and getting your duel runner back from, the, from this fucking uh, warehouse, this facility... It has some of the worst stealth mechanics in a DS game I've ever fucking encountered in my entire life to the what? point go. I hear the phrase stealth mechanics in DS game and I immediately get transported to the, the shitty over the hedge DS, DS game. My Yu-Gi-Oh game, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Ugh. Um, it, it was so bad to the point that when I went to look up like what the fuck I was doing wrong, I just saw people going, yeah, just put in the cheat code so that you can go and walk right past these people because fuck this entire section. It's badly designed. That is awesome. Yes. Hey. What the fuck? Same. What does Toffee have to say about these episodes? <laughs> Toffee, what do you think? Toffee, what do you think of Blister? Same, it is a really fucking bad name. He, he is kind of cool with it, though, I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah, no, geez. no, I like him. I just don't like his name. Understand that. She's oh. just mad that I'm not letting her run around. <laughs> Toffee, do you want to run around? Do you want to go cause some chaos? All right, here you go, baby. <laughs> what an egotistical Yo, cat. It just, actually, it just always wants Paradise? to bomb these episodes like that. It's kind of crazy how when you go back and play Stranger Paradise, it's like the tech demo for Rebirth. Like, it, it feels so similar. It's you crazy. heard chaos and immediately activated. Like That's a because Carl, Carl, Carl is a chaos. He said, like, the lion. A likely story. I'm going to so, kill chaos. <laughs> so while while Blister's tape. setting up all this shit for you, say you say is you know he's he's getting a little bit of a fucking ADHD hit, and he's like, I'm gonna I'm just yeah, gonna look just at like, everything. I'm gonna Who's look at guy? shit in your apartment. Hey, I this photo that. seems cool. <laughs> no, Who's I your also boyfriend. I do that. I consider stealing shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the the funniest part was um when like he sees that there's a card underneath the photo frame, and no hesitation, he just like lifts the photo from him and picks up this card that doesn't belong to him and looks at it and even Ooh, though it's -Oh busted card. up what is it? He, he just has to know no hey, sense of boundaries touch that. this man oh it's a it's a machina sniper this might it's be a nice card you like got that. here blister god oh <laughs> so blister sees that he's looking at this photo and he's like bro do you not have any concept of privacy what the fuck which is a real reaction like i respect that Absolutely, you say should not have been doing that. Especially since you say is now curious and going, hey, who's the guy in the photo? Hey, tell me about this. Tell Trauma this dump guy? your backstory your onto me. <laughs> That's his boyfriend, Arrow, who uh, I swear to God, I thought was named Arrow as in the thing you shoot. Yeah, as in But as in it's pointing. Arrow like the fucking Kingdom Hearts spell. Yeah, that threw me for a loop when I saw it written down for the first time. It's He's getting blown. Aroga. Hey. He not anymore. He was when they were still together. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure this dude gets blown away quite hard. So, uh I wish I could get blown hard. The card is mocking the sniper. It's it's a little <sighs> fucked up. It's got a bunch of tears and rips in it. Uh and it's glued together and Blister explains that uh this was the big card that he and his former dueling partner used to use when they were in uh I guess it would have just been like casual, casual duel circuit. Seems they like pros. yeah. I I guess there was like a tag duel turbo circuit or something. They 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 don't, they don't explain this shit, but they, yeah. they don't really I, go I into the it. The idea of tag dueling. Th th this was like a not a pro league. Yeah, it's probably like a minor league thing, like a middle, like a middle tier thing. Yeah. The idea of there being an entire circuit dedicated to not just turbo dueling, but tag team turbo dueling is kind of the best thing ever. Yeah, the idea of sidecar duel runners is so charming. Uh, and then they hit you immediately with, uh, no, we we crashed and he nearly died. And I go, oh. I fully expected dead. that to be a dubism where they were just in the sub. I also yeah, he's expected dead. him to be fucking dead. I was so ready for it. And I was ready to just be like, nah, man, that, that, that card was torn up and that's all they found next to his charred corpse. I was ready for it to be that bad. And instead, well, we'll, we'll get to it because they don't show the scene of what happens to him in this one. They show it in 12. 
Um, <laughs> I put my up. hands up when I saw when I saw what actually happened. I was like, oh, that's hilarious. No, it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> so Blister uh, explains that like there was a big accident and Arrow sent him the card and he hates him because uh, when when they were careening out of control and the sidecar detached from the main motorcycle, um, they they were careening towards just a big structure. And uh, Blister was the one in, in the part of the car that you can actually drive. He veered off to the side to save himself because he couldn't reach Arrow. And he regrets that to this day and just goes, yeah, I don't need friends. F friends are only there for you to disappoint. Uh, he goes, you say, I used to be a real big piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I still am. Uh, yeah, and his whole friends don't pay the bills. After no, explaining so all funny. this, he, he wants to know why you say is so willing to risk his life trying to get his runner back and you say explains it's for friendship and blister's like are you fucking stupid <laughs> you you cannot rely on other people and and you know you say is very clearly by this point defined that like he is a man of the people he's there for anyone who needs help that that's kind of just his mo so it's very funny to hear someone try to talk him out of that when we've seen exactly where that fucking gets you I love you say just like completely no selling when people are when people are just like this to him. He's just like, nah, friends are great. Fuck you. Anyway, I'm gonna go try and break into this place now. Yeah. yeah. Um I'm commit some crimes. It's also very funny because I forget which of them says it, but uh I, I think it might be Blister in the dub. There's a line of like, what are the odds we make it out of here in one piece? And one piece. I, one piece. I, I I think Blister <laughs> Is the oh one who rebuts God. with <laughs> only people who have a choice worry about odds. And that line is too metal to come out of a four kids dub. What the fuck do you mean they came out of a four kids dub? Oh. Uh, I so mean, anyway. that sounds about right. Sometimes they have some good lines. Y yeah, but like that one in particular was very cool. Do you say just casually walks into this place? It's the middle of the night. He's, he's being hunted down by a bunch of these dudes who just can't track the GPS on his face tat. Um, we see one little and now security drone. One asshole. Yeah. We've seen one little security drone pass through the hallway, and KZ pointed this out to me, and I lost my shit. That security drone in the sub is making the Kingdom Hearts low health sound. <laughs> oh shit! It is. I was like, yeah, why is. is this making this Mega Man sounds? That makes yeah, so much yeah, more sense. I was sad. grabbing a drink during the, this specific part, and then I heard it and went, "What the fuck was that? Is that?" Yeah. I don't have that game on. What the fuck's going on? Let's look forward to the Steam release <laughs> in uh, 12 days uh, out from recording this. Yeah, 11 days out from this going out. God. Um, I cannot <laughs> fucking wait. Somehow I will afford it. I need those games on Steam. Yeah. Uh, I ain't buying them because I already got them on the other platform and I'm not spending more money. Uh, the other platform it's is okay. going to become so exclusively my You need to simply get in, into, a, into a Steam family group where someone else picks it up. I'm, I'm the sucker who's going to pick it up for my Steam family group. It's fine. And then when they want to play on Steam it, group? but I, I wish I was part of your Steam family group. <laughs> my Steam family group is full and it's been full since like the day after they announced the Steam family. Well, shit. kick some people out. No, because <laughs> you know what happens when you kick someone out of the Steam family plan? They can't join another one for a year. Good. Hell, yeah, what the really fuck really do you mean? Good? Wow. I was a fucking asshole. Wow. Okay. The theme of this episode is the many crimes of Bioroxis. <laughs> Uh, can that be the episode title, please? <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Let me just write this in general. Episode. You will be game. marked with Many a fucking donut yellow boxes. like prison mark. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, it's it's noted in the Discord. That is officially the name of the episode. Yeah. There Congratulations, you go. man. Um, <laughs> you say gets in here. You say effortlessly dodges the one little like Roomba looking ass security bot that they got running around here. <laughs> Uh, he scans his fake little key card. Uh, he gets all the way up to the top. And motherfucker Tetsu Trudge is here. Love this guy. To cause more problems on purpose and generally just be a pain in my ass, except he's voiced by Dan <laughs> Green, which makes him at least a little bit charming in the dub. Uh, mm. Because I love getting to hear Dan Green just fucking ham it up. It's always a delight. I love the small scale uh, uh, antagonists that keep showing up over and over again. 
the jobber who thinks that the protagonist is his rival when really he's just a fucking nuisance is so I just good. like a guy that, uh, I like it because it means you say duel the same guy like three times in 12 episodes. Yeah, every yeah, single set really we've had good. at least one duel of you say and dipshit <laughs> over here. <laughs> Oh, I want him to get an invitation to the fucking the tournament that, that starts next batch so that we can see him show up again for literally no reason. <laughs> I also need him to join the Fortune Cup. Uh, it's going to be great. He's just going to, like, beat up somebody who got a legitimate invitation, and he's going to, like, pretend that he's the guy who's supposed to compete against Yusei, and it's like, surprise, bitch, it was really me, and Yusei goes, yeah, I know. You're not... You're not subtle. I could tell. <laughs> I can see the scar that I gave you when a couch fell on your face. Yeah. <laughs> How see? the couch tastes stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like leather. It hurt. It really made me sad. <laughs> I don't want to be worried for people, honestly. Like, I don't want to be worried for people. He's just, just like, bro, chill. What the fuck? God. Um, I've been just sleeping for like a week. <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to bye bye with my blankie. I just want to catch you, please. Uh, Yusei says, fuck that, gets on his door runner and books it. Uh, oh, God. Trudge immediately again. starts following after him. Because uh, Yusei has a plan of, of how he's going to get out of here. But unfortunately, dipshit has people who are competent on his side. So he's got people uh, back at you know, dipshit cop HQ, shutting the doors that Yusei wants to use mm -hmm. to get to his escape route. So, unfortunately, yep. he's having to just, you know, uh, run around in circles on this very top floor of this giant high-rise. Uh, and yeah. what's worse, um, f fuckhead Trudge activates Speed World, which forces <laughs> Yusei into a turbo duel <laughs> in the middle of all this. And then he starts fucking taunting him because he's too scared to duel and he all he wants to do is get out of here. Like, no shit, this is a break-in. Of course he wants to get to his escape route. Hopefully <sighs> they will never run out of road. Yeah. On these. I think this is the one time they do one of these duels where I'm like, man, this is just infinite. This is like the biggest building on Earth. See, what, what yeah, I'm I was like, dude, what the fuck? What I'm picturing is just that, like, they turn a corner in between everybody's plays and they just don't show that in the camera cuts. So, like, they're just going through the same, like, I don't know, 200 square feet of the top floor. And all they show is the straightaways. <laughs> uh, we get the, the flashback again of uh, Blister and Arrow. It's really sad because Blister tries to reach for his, his oomph who's in the sidecar. Uh, he fails and he gets scared and he, he swerves out of the way. Um... We also and... we also got a flashback of Trudge basically basically proving he's gonna lose his fucking job. Yes. Cause he's talking with his boss and he's like, dude, you don't get a third chance. You're on mall patrol, motherfucker. Yeah, it's it's real good. You've how... lost too many times. He's lost too many times and he is now directly defying the guy who has the most power in New Domino City. So his ass is not remaining employed. That's just inevitable. Yeah, yeah, it's re it's really not fair. It's, he couldn't have known that he was Trying to arrest a main character. I mean, he could have if he looked at his hair, but, you know. Uh, he, hey. He's a little A stupid. lot of people have weird hair out here. That's it's true. Hard to tell. That's fair. Uh, so turn one of this duel, you say opens on Quillbolt Hedgehog. That's my little guy. That's my go. I love that I guy. I love him. He's so funny. Yeah. Quillbolt Hedgehog is genuinely... I probably one of my favorite monsters in Yusei's like starter deck. That that's my goat. That's my little man. Um Trudge uh immediately starts blasting, uh summoning his uh you know, pursuit oh. deck guys like Search Striker. Um uh, All right, yeah. Um Yusei tries to get a Synchro Summon out on turn his second turn, which is a little crazy. Uh, and yeah. immediately Trudge hits him with uh, Discord Counter. <laughs> Which had me confused don't. for a bit, because I was just like, you know he's just going to Synchro Summon again, right? And he's like, and, and you can't summon anything until the end of your next turn. And I went, all right, okay, now it makes sense. 
Yeah, when when it's like yeah, that. Yeah, went from a shitty non fucking problem card to a oh okay, yeah, that's something to deal with. Yeah, uh, a defusion on your opponent that also stops them normal summoning is genuinely not bad. So it, respectable plays from here. Um, I still think it would have been so much funnier if he did that and he was like, how do you like that? Now you can't synchro summon. And then he just synchros again. He's like, uh, that was cool. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Shibuya, I think it, yeah. it's so funny to me that you brought up defusion. Yeah. Because I was playing the fucking Tag Force games recently and I finally finished the fucking first one for GX. Mm-hmm. So many NPC duelists just have defusion in their deck for no fucking reason. That's really funny. I was playing a Cyber Dragon deck. That shit sucked. That's rough. Yeah. Uh, you know what's not rough? This edit you made. Uh... Oh, yeah. Hey, so you know how I said that, that his fucking chief said he was going to be on mall duty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this image is called I mean... blartage.png. So, dude, that's, that's great. That's, that's like funny. the uh, that's like the mall cop in one in uh, in some of the Tony Hawk games. Kinda, <laughs> they'll just, yeah. They'll just, they just aggressively run you over, like the more, most recent one where it's voiced by Jack Black. I need Officer Trudge mall cop. I need that to be a thing. That's so fucking good. Yeah, that that would be just very funny seeing him uh, fail to stop a basic, like. You know, a teenager stole a candy bar from the fucking, uh, from, from the fucking convenience store in the mall, get his ass. <laughs> fucking, I have to grab something here. Somebody kill that teenager! The, uh, the Charge funniest thing to me, well, the funniest fucking thing about this to me, by the way, mm -hmm. while I was putting this together, uh, I briefly thought about, <laughs> instead of using the one from the first movie, Using specifically Paul Blart from the second movie, where he has this weirdly fucking high tech scooter oh that god. looks like it could be a dual runner. Oh my god! I need to put a photo of this on screen. Hold on, this is important. The only thing I know about the second Paul Blart one is it is just a bad movie, whereas the first one's like fine. The first one's at I least a little like... charming in any sense, even if it hasn't. That is a dual runner. Yeah, no. <laughs> Th that is in. That is just a dual runner. This is some shit you say could build <laughs> to hold his gone. trading cards. I can't believe Jack Atlas stole my scooter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure. Dude, I would, I would kill to see somebody in this fucking like turbo dual competition come up with a damn scooter. Shora, Shora, can I interest you in an art idea? You can interest me in commissioning an art idea. No, can I interest you in an art idea that I may or may not pay you for, depending on how how much I like it. That uh, I may or may not pay you for. <laughs> you know what? Given that they keep this yelling about getting paid, I, I think they I think they have a comment. Uh, I, every time I ever send someone a message like that, like, hey, can I can I ask you to make some art for me that I may or may not pay you for? I get blocked. <laughs> Okay, that's awesome. This is an artist who I also have spoken with for four years outside of just DMing about the So I think I'm entitled to say this once. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say this to Cheese from now on. Like, hey, can you make this thing that I may or may not pay you for? And then I'll, and then, but I'll roll the nine. So they'll know which it's one's going to okay. That's not what he meant. Shora. Continue the idea, Shibuya. This exact bike, but Leo and Luna riding on each other's shoulders, trying to fucking duel on it. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> Ape together strong. Yes. <laughs> now, sure. I tell you what. I tell you what, Shibuya, you can pay me with those Kingdom Hearts games. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now, DM mm. me so I don't forget to get them for you is the big one. You're like, I'm gonna need one Integra <laughs> masterpiece here. And I in go exchange for this. I go, oh, that's cheap. I'm paying Kingdom Hearts. Perfect. Done. Let's go. Meanwhile, it's like eighty dollars, and I'm my bank account's in shambles, but it's fine. Uh <laughs> Shibuya's sitting there like, oh, another person to play rando with. <laughs> I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. That's that's. There's no joke here. Just yes. <laughs> 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 I am a simple man. I like Kingdom Hearts Two Randomizer, and I like fighting my friends in Kingdom Hearts Two Randomizer. Just ask Carl. What the fuck? You fight your what? friends? <laughs> it, what did I do? You play Rando. Yeah, I do. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, so oh. I thought you said accept Carl. I was like, oh, well, no, all right. I said just ask Carl. Oh, okay. Yeah. I completely misheard that. You absolutely Holy misheard shit. that. 
but that's fine. I heard it, except oh, Carl, skibbity and I was like, oh man, skibbity skibbity Fortnite. Uh, why would you get him started on skibbity Fortnite? As I Fortnite gritty out, out of the room very sadly I'm sorry, and slowly. I'm just with skibbity Fortnite. I was thinking about it. I wish I could hear that right now. I, oh. I respect. God, no. I, I respect stimming, not when it's skibbity Fortnite. I'm sorry. Uh, Anyway, episode 12. Taste. Oh, fuck, that was only one episode. That was a single episode because we keep getting off track, yes. So It's all right. Uh -huh. It's all right. We'll get this under control, I'm sure. It has been 50 really? minutes since we started recording. We uh, need you. You act, <laughs> you act like this is the first time this has ever happened in the history no, of the show. No, I'm not show. acting like it. I'm <laughs> it the, happens I regularly. I am the grim reminder that this keeps happening regularly. I'm yeah. announcing it publicly again so. to shame you all in a moment faster. So the duel uh, continues I, as you say I'm, charges through and starts falling down a fucking elevator shaft. Yeah. He died. So I do this. Blister calls him up in a Discord audio call and starts screaming, Keep riding your fucking bike! And you see, like, what? There's nothing. Just keep going! And then in the dub, the guy lets out the most half hearted scream, like he had to record this in his apartment yeah, for which real. Is yeah. And he couldn't uh, so scream glad too I wasn't loud. To notice that. Which is so. It's so upsetting because that line delivery would have been really good if he was just allowed to, the fucking full force, just be like, Just go! You know? It's it's there's really funny how like, little uh, effort this dude's putting in. Yeah, there, there's one point I don't know if this episode or last episode, but he's like, "Grab onto my hand," and I'm like, <laughs> it's like yeah. "Arrow, huh? <laughs> grab onto my hand." Yep. You say just go. <laughs> so you you say decides to uh, break through a window and start falling down what I can only assume is an elevator shaft of some kind because. It it just is a giant like area that goes from the very top floor of it this is, to the ground floor. It is literally an elevator shaft, yeah. Yeah. When, when they drop down at the very end, there's like a fucking sliding door. It's just an elevator shaft. It is. It's just an empty fucking shaft. Which is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> so. Also, they fall through this fucking thing for like 15 straight fucking minutes of this episode. <laughs> yeah, terminal velocity, my ass. No, we need to play a card game. We're gonna delay your your dropping speed uh, for as long as we need to to get the drama. Because trudge. You say, <laughs> land on your back tire. It'll be fine. Blister. At best, it'll pop the tire. At, <laughs> at worst, I fucking die. <laughs> at worst, I become a puddle. Yeah. Um. So so trudge does not give a shit. They're currently falling down the elevator shaft. He still attacks this boy to the point where you say almost loses his grip on his bike. Yeah. He's like holding on with a single hand, panic all over his face, and Trudge is laughing at him. <laughs> like, Trudge wants to catch this kid so that he can win people over and, like, get his reputation back. If he kills the kid, there's no one to bring in to arrest, which would make his entire thing pointless. I don't know why he's laughing. Is he fucking I... stupid? Yes, he is. Yeah, he's a psychopath. I love To be the fair, he was process. quite injured by that couch. I feel like he's looking Oh yeah. To get you say a little yeah. battle damaged here. Oh um, boo hoo, he got a little cheek scar. It it makes his design <laughs> even slightly cooler. He should be I'm thanking sorry, but I think it's that. I it think does, it might it actually be cooler, that is right. It might actually be a little bit more than a face scar. I think he might actually have like mental brain damage. I think he lost just because just the, because you have a little bit of mental brain damage then doesn't mean you the couldn't see my happen. eyes blink out of sync, but it happened. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Right. Oh my God, that stupid old PNG tuber or VTuber or whatever that you, why are uh... you attacking everyone, dog? What do they do to you? Uh, no, they're they're funny, but the oh, okay. I was just saying because you like uh, I don't know rec you like tweeted it or something. It's the like chibi thing. Oh, chibi doki, <laughs> yeah. my favorite little creature. And now I just see them everywhere. Like, That's oh really God. funny. <laughs> That's so funny. So they they eventually make it to the ground floor. Uh, Yusei manages to not lose his grip on his bike uh, and lands on his back tire and somehow is fine. We're mm -hmm. not we're not gonna ask about this. Um, and Blister is here on the ground floor, showing up like a king, uh, just on his own bike, making sure that Trudge can't, like, ram into Yusei's dual runner and stop him from making the final play. Because despite everything that happened with him and Arrow, Yusei gave him a whole speech about how that card wasn't there as a reminder of his failure, but rather as a reminder of their bond, 
because, you know, he he bothered to fix up the card even after what happened, uh, which, you know, in in the sub, I think we get the full picture. I don't know if the dub actually shows it. So when the sidecar crashed into the building, uh, seemingly his friend rolled out of the sidecar before it made impact. And he's fine. It was something like that. Blister <laughs> is like knocked unconscious briefly or he's out of it. So he doesn't see this. But Arrow looks toward where the dual disc ended up right near uh, <laughs> the engine that's on fire. And he's like, no, I got to fucking save the card. That's our card. So he, he like crawls up. He gets the card. And within a couple seconds of getting the card, the thing fucking explodes in his face. And that explosion is, so funny. is all that Blister saw. So he 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 didn't see like how much he valued their friendship even after Bro did that to him. That he just wanted to save like the thing that was representative of them together. Did you become Michael Jackson for a second? <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> the, them showing the sidecar go in was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I'm like, if I died like that, man. I'd be pissed, yeah. Just like... Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'd probably pee a little bit. I, I'm i stunned that even in the sub they imply that boy is alive, because he took an explosion directly to the face. Granted, we don't ever see him. completely cut out in the English dub, too. It's alright, he yeah. got better. Did he? Because until I see him walking around, or at the very least being rolled around in a chair... I don't believe that for a fucking second. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. His, his friend said he's fine. He's alive. His he's friend in, who uh... cut contact because he was ridden with guilt? Yeah, I, be I believe that he still knows that he's fine. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course he does. He survived that warehouse fire. Of course yeah. he does, because he knows where the body's buried. Hmm. Hmm. Make an interesting... Can we bury one. you? I hope so. Oh. So, um, if he buried Carl up to his neck, would he just become Brog? Yes, actually. <laughs> Free uh, me. Free me from this earth and prison. Imagine you see that like, on a random beach or something. It's just like... <laughs> and you see a horrible creature going skibbity Fortnite at you, and then you just like... <laughs> like, like skibbity skibbity yeah. Fortnite. So, crawling towards you. You like, build like, a tunnel system. I'd let the high stands. tide come in. <laughs> so you can move around. <laughs> Drudge. Dude, he just the head on top of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, what are we so just making funny. the world's most ugly diglet? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's ugly. Come on. My mom's I'm talking about answer. Brog. Oh, yeah, no, fuck that thing. It's hideous. Yeah, in a world where you That's look like That's your son. Like Why would you Don't say worry. that about your own child, Carl? <laughs> because I hate you him. You brought him into I this world. Him. You have to take responsibility. I hate imagine, him. Imagine having a mascot and it being the worst thing you've ever seen in your life. You paid ours to do this. I, I do you think they feel like Oppenheimer? Uh, did possibly. <laughs> I hope so. Given how popular of uh, the atomic bomb is nowadays in the form of this horrible little creature. <laughs> oh my God. Carl. Yeah. Dude, Carl, I, I get a piece a... of Brog fan art in my stream uh, every week. <laughs> that's, that's very true. I got one I of you, none. One of you and Brog is fucking... I got art of Tubba Blubba from Paper Mario with Brog in it. <laughs> yeah, but that's Fuck. really funny. Which I I'll, started a I'll terrible trend. I love it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Carl, I want you. I want to see what you think of this mental image, real quick. Okay. Uh huh. What's up? So I want you to imagine a brog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now give him little Kirby hands and Kirby feet. <laughs> can I kill it? Question. Now that I'm done doing that, can I kill it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna it's gonna run up to you and inhale you, like Kirby. Father, father, please. He can be a family again. So Goyo Guardian is here. I want him out. I want him gone, but it's fine because uh, at this point the dual blister ah! is literally on Trudge's bike, making him lose control so he can't ram into Yusei and just forcibly end the duel before Yusei can deal the final blow. Why is Google Docs so fucking bright? Huh? I opened the page for my fucking notes again. They're so bright, I almost got blinded. I don't know, man. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, Shibuya. It's all, it's all good, man. <laughs> what? So, what do you mean? You say wins this duel. However, uh, <laughs> Blister and Trudge 
both fall off the bike and Blister insists that Yusei go on without him. And Yusei escapes the building only to be met with armed security for like yeah. three blocks. All with, with fucking, not even tasers, it's like the big sticks that on the end <laughs> like electrocute you like the cattle prods. I'm and just imagining the him blasting. on the ground. They're just all fucking slamming their fucking sticks into him. Yeah, they're they're just, they're just they're playing hit ass. the child. And they do. All of them. This boy is suffering electrocution. <laughs> it's bad. Um like, honest, honestly, I he's a, he's a bit older looking than all the other ones. I don't feel comfortable calling him a child. He's like what, 15, 16? Something Wait, like that. Let me double check that. Because that's was... still a child. <laughs> I was genuinely surprised that they didn't have you say, like, 18, go okay. back for Blister. Uh, oh, man, I, 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 I thought man. for sure he was going to double back, grab him, and leave. I mean, that, that would have been very cool, but Blister would not have <laughs> tanked those hits because Blister's not a protagonist, Tank. so it's for the best that he stayed behind on this one. That's sick. No, that's he true. is of age. It's all good. Ladies. Not like it matters. I'm not. Since Blister I'm not apparently didn't get in any trouble. I, I, he, he's... He's a naive kid unaware of the horrors of this world as far he, as I'm he, concerned. He is 18 still. as of season one. Yeah. Izzy, you also became days. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> so, you say struggling, you maintain control of his bike while being electrocuted to uh, the tune of, like, at least 100 dudes. Uh, and Ooh. we cut away to see dip and shit two small teal haired children uh in in the middle of this big fuck off apartment building um one of them pauses the duel they're having on their their coffee table and just goes hey w what's the matter uh and this girl is experiencing the horrors through you say something is up with this child what the fuck <laughs> and uh you know she's experiencing the horrors and she's like oh fuck i got to help him and she she runs out of the building and her brother follows her. Uh, you you say you know at, when he gets away from all the cattle prods, uh, he fucking collapses and crashes his bike. Which you know, fair reaction for a man who's in excruciating pain still. Uh, at but, the end of this episode, she's like, "We have to help him. We have to we have to give this man some help." Next episode, I think he's a stinky criminal. <laughs> Um, the, the kids get Yusei and his bike back, back inside, and, uh, that's, that's the end of episode 12. Fucking hell. Uh, <sighs> I wrote down... Nobody cares. Crunchyroll's... Fuck you. Crunchyroll's, <laughs> the subs, I care. Fuck you. Crunchyroll's subs are <laughs> fucked up and stupid. Because instead of Pursuit Chaser, they wrote Purusit. What the fuck? That wasn't every time, because I also saw it. It was Pursuit Chaser for most times. Most times it was, but I saw it for the one, and I was like, come on, guys. Okay, it's one typo. On Pride on Month, really? Typo. Fine. They're professionals, and they should know what they're doing. They're professionals, so have... and they're barely getting paid. <laughs> mm, no, no, I, I, mean... I just assume Konami sends all this shit through. This show's like 15 years old. Yeah, I, I, I mean, mostly blame Konami. for making good subs anymore, anyway. Uh, all right. Well, I also wrote, uh, dude, you're a fucking prick. I'm glad your friend's dead so he doesn't have to deal with you. <laughs> wow. Solid. Okay. You, you know what else is real solid? Is it 5D's episode 13 or is it the ad break? It's our funny ad break because we're halfway oh, through, oh, baby. Shit. All right. It scares me every time. Holy it shouldn't. Shit. I telegraph it to the middle of the episode every time. So... Most of you know how it is here, and if you don't, you I'll give you a quick refresher. Uh, we have a Twitter, yes. twitter.com slash millenniummike. On there, we will post uh, all of the images that are contenders for thumbnails on a given episode. Uh, we'll sometimes post memes, we'll sometimes retweet stuff. Uh, if there's any changes to the schedule with us not being able to make a recording date or having to start a little later, anything like that, Twitter's where you're going to want to go for that information. We'll tease uh, any co-hosts uh, co and guests that we'll be having, so... Go follow us there if you want to stay up to date. Uh, and beyond that, we also have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Millennium Mike. On there, you get access to stuff like our movie commentary tracks for Pyramid of Light and Dark Side of Dimensions. And when we get to it, Bonds Beyond Time will be on there as well. Uh, we did episodes covering them, but if you want to watch the movie along with us and hear our, our actual, just genuine reactions to the thing, 
You want to go on there. Yep, mouth words. You get access to uh, archives of all of our past stream VODs. So, like, me building the Millennium Puzzle Model Kit for, like, eight hours. Uh, that's Ooh. on there. Hey, Carl. You got oh. a chance to build yours yet? Not yet. It's sitting in a box over there. Yeah. Yeah, good luck, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I said it took me nine hours. Good luck, man. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, you can also get access to special shout outs during our episodes like our blue eyes white dragons our $25 tier uh, they get their names on screen and in the description for every single episode of Millennium Mike that we put out Whoa. thank you very much to our blue that eyes white dragons that one's my favorite <laughs> fucking Jennifer Coolidge voice now really whatever works <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge I think that's her fucking name I don't know. I'm not an expert. Uh, we also have our <laughs> forbidden ones, our fifty dollars tier. Uh, all all the the previous benefits, and you get your name read aloud. Thank you very much to Zombie Slayer fifty one, longtime patron, recently bumped uh, themselves up to forbidden one. We do appreciate it. I see you, man. Don't tell me, yeah. you're my real favorite. What the fuck? And last but absolutely not least, we have oh. our oh. god cards. Whoa! Our hundred dollar tier, our absolute goats of financial support. Thank you very much to our current god card, Shining You. Thank you. Thank right. you. You're my real favorite. <laughs> For Pride what? Month, I call you gay. What? Sorry. What? I mean, you should always have Jennifer, pride. Get out of my room. <laughs> you should always have pride in your cards. That's all I'm saying. You know. Uh, <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why are you so <laughs> boo in the house like In my Come month? Hey, it's my month too, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Man, <laughs> Don't treat jumper. me like that. <laughs> wagon jumper. <Jesus> <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even understand half the words that just came out of your mouth. That's awesome. Uh, <coughs> please remember. You see, Kizzy <laughs> called me a wagon jumper because he was saying that I jumped off the bandwagon of straight hood. Ah, Okay. Um, please remember not to support anybody on Patreon, whether that be us or somebody else, unless you are financially stable first. Make sure that you have enough money for food, rent, yeah, water. Fuck Patreon, don't even bother going to our Patreon. We don't even That's want your what money. I'm no. Saying, no, 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 no. I love no, the no. disclaimer. Shut it's up. almost oh. as long as the Patreon part. There. Look, look, I'm trying to do reverse psychology on them so they'll actually go. If you're gonna do reverse psychology, you gotta fucking bait them into doing it. You gotta say that they won't. No, oh, shit. I don't go in reverse. I always go forward. <laughs> That's very valid. Uh, and if, if you want to help the podcast go forward for the rest of five days, remember the word of mouth. Sharing the podcast with people you think might find us funny does a lot to help us out. So if you like it, share it with friends that you think would also like it. Give us the money. We try to be funny. Yeah. That's it. That's wow, that was pretty good. No, that's kind of that a bang. Uh, does anybody have anything else to advertise before I take us to the dipships ad? You like Mega Man? <laughs> oh, no, Pause geez. for Bio to say something. <laughs> what? <laughs> because we, because I run a Mega Man Battle Network <laughs> podcast with my friends Yuki and Double Soul. It's been on hiatus for a while because shit keeps happening. Yeah, shit. Pause for Bio to say something. <laughs> Yeah, Bio, fuck you too. Anyway, <laughs> we, we like to watch Mega Man NT Warrior, the, one of the coolest anime ever that has stuff in it, such as Irishman. Yeah? Internet? <laughs> yeah? Pause for Bio to say Fucking something. Sick. <laughs> fuck you too, Bio. That's it. That's the pitch. Uh, That's a pretty good pitch. We're just fun. going through the motions, but that was still pretty good. That's pretty good. Funny. Anything I else? Make a bit new every week. <laughs> Does anybody have anything else they want to advertise? All right, uh, card games. Uh, check out. I don't know when it's coming out still, but check out the first episode of uh, the. What do we call this show? The Millennium Microphone Master Saga. Yeah. With myself and Shora. Uh, yeah. Uh, the you, Mill you Mike Mega like, Master mm. Saga. M4S. Oh, the masters have come to, be... to play. 
Yeah, yeah, that 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 bit. Uh, fuck it, we gotta record episode four at some point soon. I got a new deck that I think is gonna make Carl cry. I, I, I really have want a new him deck. to cry. I have a new fuck. deck that kind of sucks shit, but it's very funny. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna kill him. Anyway, episode one should be out. Maybe. Now. Soon. Soon. Keep an eye out. It's going on Shibuya's channel because it's Milmite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting on G to send me Patreon. the deleted thing. <laughs> nope, it'll probably be up on Patreon first. I don't, I don't fucking know. The, yeah, I'll, I'll throw it up on Patreon for a week uh, before it goes oh, public. Yeah. So, uh, if you want to become a patron for as little as five bucks a month, that is an option. <laughs> five whole hey, smackery uh, dues. Hey, uh, if any of you want to help me build a fucking deck, I'll, I'll send you my collection list. <laughs> I am. Bad I'll help you build your deck, friend. No, I'll wow. kill you. <laughs> I'll fucking bury you in the sand. <laughs> I'll let the high tide roll in and let a crab walk into your mouth. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right. La last call like for that? other shit to advertise. Five. Four. Three. I'm not hearing anything. Two. Here. Here's fucking. Well, Shibuya, thank you so much for asking. <laughs> I'm actually. The... <laughs> I genuinely despise you. Server <laughs> mute. Carl's fucking dead. All right. I'm gonna take us into dipships now. Uh, enjoy that shit, gang. I, I get a minute of silence. <laughs> Do you enjoy boating? How about listening to some friends tell a few stories and talk about their weeks? Then I've got just the podcast for you. Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast. Every week, Carl, PM, Medi, and Nick get together and tell their favorite stories and recap what's been going on in their lives and talk about boating too, I guess. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Podbean. And we'll see you on the Nautical Mile. That's A awesome. goatee deck? We're back! We're back! Yo, Game of the Year deck? Let's go. Yeah, so Bio, there's an archetype called Goaty, which is actually pronounced fish because it's based on a really old joke about yep. uh, different ways to pronounce words and we, how that can be used to spell the word fish. We went over this in Bio's card questionnaire. It was very funny. Did we? I yeah. was. That's yeah. right. I forgot. Yeah. That was when the chart submitted. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I like them. They're funny. They're, like very, cool. they're a very cool archetype. Really good aesthetic on them. Uh, yeah. You know who doesn't have a good aesthetic? Me? Leo and Luna. You get 5Ds. Episode 13. Episode 13. Damn, why'd ah! you fucking do her like that? Yeah, it's very. It was strange. fucked up. These children are a little bit quirky, but in a way that I can respect. Which is very powerful for <clears throat> child characters in Yu-Gi-Oh. I just, Listen, I all don't... I wrote about them was, imagine getting miseried by the Twin Towers. Jesus Christ. Thanks, man. <laughs> Pretty good. Honestly, I, I, awesome. I, I'd have to say, Carl, solid. Yep. Never cook again. Nice. Hey, oh, all right. I, all right. Okay. All right. That's, that's cool. Then, yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah, I man. fucking saw these two and immediately I was like, oh, right. Yeah. These dub voices suck just a little bit and also i have to sit through fucking morphtronics i mean the the dub voice is, is, is cassandra lee morris what's the problem with that it's oh. it's honestly it's mostly leo it's just mostly leo being a little bit intolerable you, you mean it's it's the uh i'm a seven-year-old boy voice she has to put on for this kid yes Fair. luna's fine though yeah Lu luna's probably a little fine. Luna's fine if a little bit grating at first because, like, this first episode is nothing but her shitting on everything. And then next episode, suddenly she's, like, I don't know, fuck it, a little bit more normal. She took her pills. Yeah, I mean, she got it out of her system, I guess. Um, it, it's it, fair. It's, it's funny how there's, like, a little bit of this in the sub, but when I went to look up the episode on the wiki, it was like, yeah, most of these rereads are just making her more annoying. Uh, and the other parts of this plot that they just made up because they were bored. 
Yeah. Yeah, you like a random amnesia plot line? Because this episode's a random amnesia in plot one line. Of the show. Yeah. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I'll be real. Uh, <laughs> amnesia was fun. It's, it's, old it's a little game. funny, but like. It's funny how scared people were of that game. What? Ah, I see. Okay. Um, that came out 10 years ago, right? Or was Amnesia like 12 years? Yeah, Dark yeah, Descent. yeah, it was, it was, it was a while. I, I love how the fucking wiki page for this has differences in adaptations, and half of it is just in the English dub. Yeah. It's like in the English insert, dub, they just wrote some stupid bullshit the whole way. Insert stupid thing Leo did here. They're, they're Every like, other... it, they're like in the original Japanese, uh, Leo kindly points out um, who who is actually going to be in this upcoming tournament. In the dub, they just changed it to make him even more dumb. <laughs> I'm I'm just going to do a little thing visually so people can understand what reading the wiki for this episode is Whoa. like. Oh. What is it like? Don't worry, just hold on. I, I got to I got to use the highlighter tool on this. Uh... Whoa. Give me one more second. All right. So. The the first paragraph on the wiki, mind you. Everything highlighted is dub exclusive. <laughs> Very funny. This is going to continue on for the entire episode, and it's mostly just bad one-off jokes, oh. like, oh, the guy who cleaned our pool had that mark, and Dad said he was weirdo, it, so we shouldn't fucking talk to him. It <laughs> really was... is just them filling in blank spots. Uh-huh, because oh, we can't have silence. The... We can't rely on the children to know what's going on. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I thought that was weird of them to say. Yeah, it's it's just to show that these kids are, like, so isolated from the outside world that they don't even really recognize... This is me and my brother. Because we're twins. And we I were can isolated. Kinda see that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the world where, where you and Water got obsessed with uh, Yu Gi Oh! instead of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so these kids somehow mm -hmm. drag Yusei and his bike up God knows how many fucking flights of stairs. Well, they just had to get them in the elevator, elevator I guess. or anything. Yeah. Fuck, into their apartment. And it's mm -hmm. only now that they're having second thoughts, because because Luna's out here like, oh, he's got that criminal mark though. Yeah, yep. And yet Luna is the one who instinctively was like, "Damn, someone's going through it out there. I gotta fucking save him. I gotta go." What what was it's, that? It's kind of like those say? empath energies you have, where it's like, "Oh, I rescued like this this animal in the street." And it's like, "Oh yeah, but what if it's like poisonous or something?" Yeah, too late for that <laughs> um, now. Um, and it's like maybe maybe I could give him like a couple sandwiches and then and then he could like leave. I could I could fuck up a sandwich right now. God, um, it's too. okay. They they give us a brief like one off line about Luna mentioning uh Yusei's dual spirits, yep. saying he's a good person and that he's very sad. Yeah. So Luna, in like five combined minutes of her being on screen at all. We've established that she is the better duelist than her brother. We've established that she is an empath and we have established <laughs> that she can communicate with dual spirits to the point where she like understands no. what they're saying instead of just She's like Shane them. Dawson. Holy shit. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that he's mean? An empath. He's I an didn't empath. do anything like with my dual no. spirit. <laughs> oh. Oh. I... <laughs> I just did things on a podcast. For five minutes, <laughs> fucking Christ! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was sucks. awesome. This sucks, dude. <laughs> Sorry, he said that it first, rolled. and it was such an easy <laughs> fucking hit, dude. I'm in the only way it could have been funnier is if we we're in GX and you said it about fucking Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't do anything with Ruby Carbone. Stop! Oh, it no. It would have been an amethyst cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I would do a lot of things with that. He's more fucked up if I did with my pick. Jesus, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> My cat may be I'm, sentient, I'm gonna but kill still him. a fucking cat. Hey, Carl, if we keep up this tech, I think we can make the first five-hour mill mic. 
Oh. <laughs> It'll be with you Let's two alone. Let's go make evil fucking defense. Uh, one of these days, I'm just gonna go. No, one of you hosts. I'm I'm not participating this week. Get fucked. Uh, and then you're gonna understand. You know, should we, I know it'll make you feel better. Should we, yeah. Is it gonna make me feel better, or is it just gonna, gonna be Skibbity Fortnite? Worse? It's gonna be if three you start playing hours Skibbity straight. Fortnite, Skibbity Fortnite. I swear I'm to God. I'm actually gonna fuck you. <laughs> I'm not watching I your stream, it motherfucker. It's gonna be Skibbity Fortnite. I'm not clicking Hold on. Watch I stream. will check for you. Thank all you, right? Casey. I trust you to be it honest. It is in Let's fact see. Skibbity Fortnite. Ladies and gentlemen, Skibbity Fortnite. Holy <laughs> shit! Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity Skibbity. Fuck off. Skibbity Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity Fortnite. This fake amnesia plot point is really fucking funny. It makes me want to merge into traffic without looking. Uh, I wish I had a fake amnesia <laughs> plot point right now. Same! Oh, God. Um, so, Leo is really excited to have uh, anybody else who duels in, in the house, and these children explain that they are left alone on the top floor of this really nice, rich people apartment building, uh, and their parents just aren't around, I guess. Um, Maybe they're dead. they're dead. Don't worry about it. I don't know. The sub never discusses this, so I'm just left to wonder. Uh, Sometimes your parents are too busy being rich. Yeah. That's true. And um, they they see that he has a duel runner in a deck, and Leo's just like, I know what'll make you feel better, mister. What if I duel you to try and make you remember who you are? Uh, and you say just sees a little bit of rally in him, <laughs> and it's a little cute. Uh, and I, I don't mind the twins. I'm just gonna say right now, I do not mind the twins as they are right now. Maybe they they're get fine. worse. We do I don't get this. Know. Uh, they get we worse. We get this cute little moment where I we said get maybe to see they that... get worse. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Jack Atlas like has I... fucking in universe yeah, I don't think merchandise, they do, which is cool. Because I usually hate children quite a bit, so mm -hmm. I have a discerning, hateful eye. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank Shibuya, you. did you did you notice that they had that they have the fucking Ichiban Kuji Jack Atlas figures out there? Yeah, they have a fucking SHF, uh, the fucking uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. Red Dragon Archfiend. There we go. Uh, I was thinking Red Demon's Dragon. Yeah, uh, they have the fucking SHF. They got the little pop up parade figure. They got the poster King of Duelist. It's great. And uh, so they go outside because this entire top floor of this apartment complex is theirs. Uh, which is fucking ridiculous. And they they start this duel, and Leo does this really cute thing because he's, like, six, where he is his own hype man and narrator and crowd, like, cheering himself on. Yeah. I think it's charming. And then his, his sister has to be a little hater and just be like, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I like how this fuck. is also another exclusive. Yeah. I want to. I know we, we usually don't point out the the chat during our recordings. Yeah. But someone in chat said Nihilist Luna versus Optimus Leo, and I think that's our new bit. I think that's our new uh, Nihilist Mokuba. <laughs> I wasn't there Turns for the first one, so it's like it's brand new. Yeah. So I I would like to read a note that I have written here. Okay. Yeah. And by that I mean it's just Carl's just get, getting really upset over their house being big. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, could you imagine having such a big, gorgeous house to yourself? This is the dream life. I want to kill these children and take their livelihoods, is what you wrote. Yeah, I mean, can you play, look at how nice that house is? It's got a nice big pool. That, yeah. apparently, there was some dipshit music that played during the episode that made you want to throw up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was while, while uh, uh, fucking, what's his name, Leo or whatever, is doing his turn. What do they call him in the in the in the sub? I forgot the names. Uh, like I, Leo and Luna. I've also forgotten what they call him in the oh, sub. Oh, in the subs alone. for that, it's uh, Luca and Lua. Luca, there we go. Luca and Lua. Yeah. When when I used to watch the fan subs, they were Rua and Ruka. Ooh. Hell yeah, brother! Classic. Classic. Yeah, I think Leo and Luna is actually a good way to localize it, so it sounds similar. Yeah, yeah, it's... that's that. Yeah, I think that's. Frankly, I prefer that. I'm just gonna call them yeah. that from now on, because that that one. I Lua isn't like a real name, so I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see. Uh... I have to say, reading Carl's note was very hard because mm -hmm. I was hearing Skibbity Fortnite and felt compelled to just say that. <laughs> God, the disease spreads. It's not often I agree with Carl, so, so this is like a special case with this one video. 
So they go to start this duel, and immediately Leo is having trouble with his dual disc, which is a cute little thing. He, he's big, got an adult-sized dual that. disc on a kid-sized arm. Yeah, yeah and... I do think it's really cute. Just thinking about, yeah, this is probably like a twenty-five-pound device. Yeah, this probably weighs. It's like a Yeah, it's it's rough, and it's it's really cute because they try to fix it. So you say gets like cloth, and just fucking tries to like tie it tight enough that it stays on, which will cut off this kid's circulation to his arm, but fuck it. it, it it's worth Eventually. it because it, it finally fits, and he's really excited about that. Uh, and we get a little bit of a, a, just a sprinkling of lore in here that, uh, you know, the kids both duel, and Luna got invited to the Fortune Cup, which is an upcoming <laughs> tournament that is, is being hosted in Neo Domino. And, uh... Neith none of them question this. None of them question this at all. They're just like, yeah, my, my eight-year-old sister got invited to a giant tournament. Sometimes Don't worry about it. She's very dueling. clearly... Yeah, she's very clearly just really good. This is really just good. normal. Don't worry about it. She just it. talks to the dual spirits and asks them to do better. I feel like this do. is, like, really representative of, like, the two different types of creators. Where there's one that's, like, super passionate and, like, wants to, like, do all the things. And then the other one that just doesn't care. Just, like, puts out stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get that's that. That's really depressing, yeah. Bioroxis. Wait, why is it depressing? Why did you use their full name like that? Like, they're in trouble. Because <laughs> 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 it's a bit funnier. So, um, we... I feel like it's a thing because they're like not even like with like creating like like streamers or like YouTubers, but like I feel like that happens with artists too. Where like there's that there's those certain types of artists that like live in a cave and they come out like once once every three months and like drop oh, a piece of art in real caves. Thank you to Hungry Clicker over on Twitter. <laughs> exactly right. And it's just like <laughs> they like pop out, and they drop something, and then they go. They, back they drop art of the character I love most from a game, and then they just leave for another three weeks, and then they come back with an announcement of, "Hey, I drew another Pokemon card, and it's the most gorgeous art I've ever fucking seen." And I go, "Thank you, Hungry mm, Clicker." Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, but yeah, so they they drop that little nugget of information, and they also say that like Leo is going to compete in her place because she she doesn't want to go out and she's kind of shy. Um, and then they have a little argument about how that'll never work, because Leo can never pass for her, even though they're, like, twins, <laughs> you know? And n not quite identical, but almost. And all but, like, It's hair. one of those cases where it's like, you can't match my vibe. <laughs> she really did say that. She sure did. Um, so, Leo and Yusei start their duel, try, try and jog Yusei's memory in, in the dub and in the sub. It's, you know, just for fun, because the, the kid wants to see what he's got. Um... And Leo starts dropping uh, his Morphtronics. Or, uh, you know, if you're, if you're watching the sub, Deformers, which is very cute. Deformers. Yeah. It is cute. What a good-ass name. Because it, it, it's just a pun on, like, the super deformed, which is what they call chibi stuff. Very nice. Love that. Um, yes. Uh, the cell phone here has, like, a lavishly multi-animated part of him morphing in. Yeah. Yeah, and they use it like three times. It's awesome. Dude, when it's that long, I get it. When it when it's that long and you put that much money into a single shot of this thing, like opening and closing. Yeah, reuse that animation. I don't fucking mind. <laughs> it's like old super robot shows from like the seventies and eighties where they're like, We spent six months on the transformation sequence. You will now see it in every episode <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i say thank you yeah. because that's sakuga yep. yeah or or like like shoujo stuff or like yeah magical girl transformations so Fortnite. i like more chronics more chronics are, are neat i haven't more totally chronics are really neat. Them, but they're dude they've I was, got a uh... stapler and they call them stapling it's awesome that's it rules. awesome <laughs> I'm surprised that they, I didn't even realize they had a fucking like watt lock thing where they just stop your opponents from attacking anything. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he tries to set Funny. up a, a fucking infinite board state that you say literally can't break out of. And because of the way that these cards effects work, you say literally just goes, no, I'm reversing the battle position of all the <laughs> monsters. <laughs> sorry, yeah. kid. He's, sorry, kid. He's like, sorry, fucked. you're 11. I, you're going to be cooked. Uh. <laughs> By the way, Shibuya, funny thing about the Morphtronic archetype. Oh. Mm -hmm. Years later, 
by which I think I mean like maybe a year, year and a half ago, they would release a new synchro monster for the archetype called okay. Morphtronic Earphone. Hey, uh, do you do you, do you recognize anything? Does something seem familiar there? They're very cute, and I I do like the the little nod in design to Leo and Luna there. That's that's very neat. Yep. Magic. Also, oh god, they have yeah. their AirPods and they can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> I Thank like God. that they. I love that they label what what ear they're for. Yeah, put a big L, a big R on them. Oh, that's what the R on his head means. They're they're AirPods. Yes, they label which the, ear ear it goes yeah, in. The, yeah, yeah, the R would have been for the girl one. The what one? The 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 girl, the one that would be like the. Oh, because they're the, the twins. The... Yeah. It's all making sense now. Yeah, I can't yeah. do this show anymore. <laughs> you and me both, man. Uh, so. <laughs> skibbity Fortnite, by the way. Uh, skibbity, skibbity. Hey, what, what's up with his face? Why does it look like that? God. I, that really... I saw it for a friend. I went, this is the episode. Shit, I thought this was way later. Now, I'm, I'm going to just do a thing production? for the people watching the video version. I'm going to zoom in on this because I need you to understand. This face is already weird enough. And then you make it bigger and you go, what the fuck? Why, why did they <laughs> he think? Looks like so, a little... so the way the, the way the shot's supposed to work is they do the split screen and the middle one's supposed to zoom out and it does really fast. And that's... This would look normal if it's a really large, distant shot, but for one frame, yeah, it Should is I? just as big as everything else. Uh -huh. Shrink it down, put it just right behind Carl, just like right on his shoulder. Well, you, I was gonna say to... it's drawn like the way that some little like birds in anime are drawn. <laughs> My favorite part to... is it's listed as an animation error, not because it looks like shit, but because it doesn't have the yellow lines on his hair. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Of all well. things. Right. Just gonna fix that up a little bit. There you go. There he is. Surprised you didn't <laughs> You gotta put <laughs> that on like remove background and just make it a make it a real puppet. I'm hosting this on OBS. I'm not doing all that shit right now. Maybe yeah, for the yeah. thumbnail. <laughs> not for this. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, in the future. I won't I won't make you operate heavy machinery at a time like this. <sighs> God. Um time like what? Something happened? Yeah, so these these children watch Leo get his ass beat by Yusei with, with basically one move. Uh, Leo starts crying because he's like nine. He's like 12. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> you, yeah. Yusei has to give the kid a pep talk and teach him like, hey, you know, that was a really cool combo you had. But uh, if you're not ready for your opponent to counterplay that, then I don't know that you're ready for the big leagues, kid. <laughs> Like, I don't think you're gonna get washed. She's nice about it. He's giving him advice, and and the the kid's just like genuinely happy about it. Um, and you say mentions that he needs to fucking go. He needs to get out of here before uh, Trudge and the other cops find him. And the kids are like, "No, why don't you? Why don't you stay the night? It's already getting kind of late during this clear blue <laughs> that was sky." Actually really but... cute. No, like, please. He's like, come I can't be and... friends with you. I'm gonna get you in trouble. And he's like. But you just tell me your name. Yeah. Please just, come like, over here. Sleep in our guest point. bed. <laughs> sleep in our. Why do you guys have an ice, like a bathtub full of ice? Don't worry about it. Go to sleep, you say. Ugh. This is where we go to drink, actually. <laughs> and and they just have cold glasses of milk with ice in it. And, and you say, goes, shit, maybe I am home. <laughs> um, Don't worry, you say. It's all above board. Look, they reach into the tub and they pull out a hyper realistic survey so crystal. Oh my Sorry. fucking god. Holy shit. Oh, what? <laughs> so you say stays for part of the night. But in, in the middle of the night, he's like, I cannot yeah, stay here. I am putting these kids in danger. I have to go on my bike and leave. And I gotta do something. I'm gonna work on this dual disc in the middle of the night. He gets out. He he gets out of the um, what the fuck is it called the tops, uh, which yeah. is the part of town he's in. Trudge is on the street waiting for him. Stops him, but before Trudge can bring him in, oh god, ew! What the fuck? Why is the clown back? That's right. <laughs> Lazar is here once more. And this time, Lazar. Like a, my goat. L Lazar has a message creature. for you, say. And uh, that message is you're going to be in this fortune cup, or uh, 
hold on, what was the exact quote in Japanese? We'll kill your um, fucking friends. If you don't, the four people in the photo will suffer pain that you can't even imagine. Jesus. So in the dub, all he says is like, you know, they'll suffer the consequences of your actions because you were breaking and entering and shit. And I'm like, oh, he'll send them to jail. That's unfortunate. There is a 12 year old in that photo. Uh, and in Japanese, it's like, we will torture them. We're going to kill your friends. Okay. And so Yusei's like, damn, I guess I got to fucking compete. That's fucked up, dude. Uh <laughs> also, this is <laughs> this is us skipping a scene yeah. where we see Lazar and Goodwin talking uh while <laughs> Goodwin's in his Peruvian fucking shrine chamber. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Just being like, yes, the red I dragon wish I star was rich. is I coming. Knew this. I wish I had a Peruvian red dragon chamber that I could just go to whenever I needed to. Dude, if I was shit. rich, I would totally retrofit a building into a temple. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. You get it? You understand? <sighs> That's I'm like, I'm sorry, guy who's trying to trying to be my door dasher. You must solve the legends of the hidden temple <laughs> to get to my front door. Can you survive the shrine of the silver monkey and bring me my taco? That's right. <laughs> we also have temple guards. <laughs> If you wish to receive your tip, you must defeat Nickelodeon Gact. <laughs> and they're like, wait a minute. I, I, I've i seen that show. Uh, the temple guards were like men, not rabid dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you just have a speaker over the intercom as you watch this because this is your free entertainment before dinner. Yep. And, you, and, and you just go over the PA and you go, oh, yeah, we have a better budget than Nickelodeon, so we could afford to hire rabid dogs. Good luck. <laughs> they love the smell of Taco Bell. I'm like, this dude's dead, but um, I think the real problem here is that he forgot my straw. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to you twice in a row. I consider, I consider jumping. <laughs> they, ju they jump through all those hoops, give you your food and leave. And then you're just stuck sitting there like Satan at the end of Smiling Friends complaining about not getting a straw. <laughs> See, you know what's funny? That now I'm just so picturing... much. Now I yeah. am just picturing a Smiling Friends episode where it's like, all right, boys, you're going to have to make the host of this hit game show smile. And they have, it's just an episode of them in the game show and it sucks and they hate it the entire time. All right, boys. And Kim's spirit I slowly gather breaks. The... I need you to gather the signer dragon. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, speaking of the Glep's signer dragon. just really good at the specific game show, just for reference. Yeah. No, Glep, Glep okay. is playing at home. Calling them fucking stupid, and then Alan goes, "Yes, you're right, Glep. They are incompetent, oh. aren't they?" They really if are. If I stupid. had my, <laughs> if I had my tablet on me, drawing fucking Rex Goodwin as the boss would be the funniest thing. Hey, Shora, that's that's one I that you can do that. anytime because that would be delightful. <laughs> I hate that so much. Thank you. Honestly. Fucking, if somebody wants to commission the fucking smiling friends. Yeah, I was just saying, can we, like, can we do that mid-episode thing we did in the first one again for this? Because that would be way too good. No, sure. I have, a, <laughs> I have a wonderful idea that we can't actually use for thumbnail art Please don't for this, me this one. Time. No, actually, you know what? I, I, I have a commission you. No, idea for you for Bonds Beyond Time. Oh, God. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta DM this before I forget. Tell me uh, that doesn't go uh, hard uh, as hell. Let me, let me take a look at this. Yo, yo, let me check this out. Uh, I'm just DMing this to him because I want it to be a, a shotgun surprise in six months. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty. It's not bad. Up. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, it's real good. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the last pick is a bit is a bit odd, but uh. <laughs> I mean, you can also you. make them boss if you yeah. want. I just thought yeah, it, might I was about to say. <laughs> it might be funny to have him be the fruit. <laughs> Oh, huh? don't worry about it. No, I'm concerned. No, it's pride. It's okay. Oh man. Oh, all right. All right. Um, if if you <laughs> want to send me numbers for that at a later date, because I want to have that done ahead of uh ahead of that episode, you just let me know. <laughs> all right. Episode hey, fourteen. You want to talk about it? Uh, I was just about to say that. I was about to say you want to talk about episode fourteen? I do. Uh, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna be quite honest here, Carl. Yeah. I forgot we. I forgot there was still another episode. I was like, man, we've been going on long enough. I'm sure that was the last one. No, man. <laughs> not, really no, right? man, it's not. <laughs> we got one more. An hour and 40 minutes. Let's, last one let's keep going. All right, so. I don't remember the last, what? 
<laughs> it is the next morning. Leo and Luna wake up, and Yusei's fucking gone. They are in shambles oh, no. at this. But it's okay, because before Yusei left in the middle of the night, he took the time to fix their dual discs so they fit them. Which is very cute. It's a, it's a very charming dude. little moment. You, you say you like say such a strongly. Yeah. That's oomph. Uh, That's oomph he right has such there. great qualities. He, he'll like help anybody. He'll, he'll humor people if possible. He drinks milk. Yeah. You do drink milk though. Why is that so funny? The idea of this. Carl, this... I'm sick of you. <laughs> Carl, I've genuinely forgotten how long I've been listening to Skibbity Fortnite at this point. <laughs> it, I'm like, it's tuning in and out. I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? All right. I'm gonna be honest. I've I've had it at like two percent so that I can hear the fucking actual music track of it, but I barely hear the fucking Skibbity Fortnite part. It's not That's bad. the best part though. No, it's, <laughs> it's not. not. It's you're really like you're not. like they set they set the lyrics to a pretty Fortnite. good beat. Skibbity Fortnite. So, this episode mentions a witch, mm -hmm. um, and the episode's name is Bloom of the Black Rose, or appearing folklore, the destruction bringing Black Rose Witch. And I go, oh, yep. fuck, it's the the girl people aren't normal about. It's Hell her. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, you Let's got go. that right. Got I, I, think, I, I think airing. people gooning for fat tits is the most normal thing. And I'm proud to be now, an American. I've seen, I've seen and blocked a couple people who were extremely not normal about her in particular, which is why I'm saying that. It's fine. If you just like her because she's cute and has big titties, you are fine. This is not about you. Um, uh, there, there's like a guy with a Toon Link avatar I met in high school. Oh, no. I'm sorry, this is Toon Link idea. Toon Link's identity now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, um... So... Jack Atlas is in, is in his, his little fucking suite talking to Goodwin, being served his it's fucking tea house. or coffee or whatever the it's fuck. Really I don't care. Sick house. And Goodwin is talking to him about, uh, about the fortune cup and how he should be a part of it. And Jack's like, what the fuck is the point, bro? And, and Goodwin just goes up to him and he goes, listen, man, nah, we, we sweetened the pot a little bit. We made it a little bit better for you. Uh, we invited you, say, and he is going to compete. And Jack... The most normal straight man on earth. Uh, <laughs> Goodwin, specifically in the sub, says the phrase, after mentioning that you say is part of it, explains by going, I need you to quench your thirst. Yes. Happy fucking Pride Month. Happy fucking I'm Pride, glad, I'm baby. I'm glad you did something with this one, man. Yeah, I had to, dude. Th this one was like the big one. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're gay, gay. Let's fucking go. Yeah, gay, gay, homosexual, gay, even. It's delightful. Yeah, because at first he's like, this is just like a small time tournament. No, no one really Yeah, gets, like, this isn't worth shit, my right? time. And then he hears you say he's going to be there. And but he then goes, he's like, I got mm. a certain man from the satellite uh, inviting. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Well, fuck. I guess I got to be <laughs> in there now. He was expecting he was going to go into the tournament. The final match is the stupid fucking fire skull dude again. <laughs> be so good you say just he's like he's like i duel that dude every week i'm tired of this shit it, it would be so funny because all they wanted was for you say to compete if you say cheats the system by competing and just losing his round one match and being eliminated and they go what the fuck was that and he goes listen you said i had to compete. You told me to participate you didn't that was say it. i had to win fuck you <laughs> And then they just he, keep he just cheating to, to force him higher up into the bracket. I think that would be so funny. I just think the skull guy might, in fact, be a signer. If he oh, was, I'm that feeling would it cool. too. I had a realization <laughs> saying that, given that he's told Jack multiple times that he's his trudge. Oh yeah. My God. <laughs> God. You're not wrong. Everybody has a guy that they don't like that they have to duel several times. Skull right. dude's gonna come out with a fucking black skull dragon. That's what his signer dragon is. That would be cool. Um, I don't Honestly, need a second trudge cool. running around. 
I don't need more of him. I need less Dude, of Trudge him. Trudge as actually. a signer would go crazy. Trudge as a signer would be really funny because eventually he'd have to work with you, say, and the entire it, time he'd be like, be the moment so this is over, good. I'm going to kill you, you fucking punk. It would be so good because Iron Chain Dragon's so fucking cool. Yeah, I'm so upset I'd Iron Chain love Dragon's that. wasted on this asshole. <laughs> oh, sucks. man. Uh, um, so, uh, the next day, fucking uh, my new favorite couple, big man and old man, are, have been released from prison. <laughs> yeah. Big man and old man. That's awesome. Yeah, old guy and urchin. Listen, love is love. Happy pride. Happy pride. <laughs> you think he grabs? Do you think the old man grabs onto his hair <laughs> like handlebar? Uh, so they show up. <laughs> Dude, he's 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 two or, out. These two are the five D's equivalent <laughs> of uh, and Trinity and Duke. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Those Older down the bottle of right soju. <laughs> Looks at Urgent, he's like, I need you in nah, me. You... Nah, you're right. Fucking catch right in the bottom. Mode. The blister gives you, say, a new hideout. Uh, just to lay low until Fortune Cup starts. And uh, old, old man and big boy decide to show up because they've been re recently released. And now you say has all of his uh, Neo Domino <laughs> oomphs here to hang out with. <laughs> And talk shop with go the up. Yeah. I just thought of something fucking terrible from that bit. Mm -hmm. Instead oh, of Ushioni, it's Ukeoni. Man, that's pretty mm. good, actually. That that was good. That was good enough to pull us over, actually. <laughs> I hate that. So, would the matching card in the old man's deck be Crystal Semi? Anyway, uh... <laughs> here we go. So. It, it has the oh, same the effect still. Is... You put you through, you summon it, and it hurts you. Yes, of course. The bits no. are just running for this fucking series. We got, <laughs> we got gay representation in our bits in this series. It's great. Yeah, we're we're mm -hmm. recording this literally on the first day of Pride. That's important. We need good Pride. That's bits. true. Uh, I love in the dub that when Yusei is fixing his bike, it is to hyperdrive blasted really loud on the radio. He's real for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to the point where everybody's like, "Shut that shit off, bro. That shit loud as hell." Um. And, you know, while while they're in Blister's hideout, just sort of hanging out, discussing shit, Jack Atlas shows up. Because Jack Atlas just knows where Yusei is. And they're all fucking stunned. Well, yeah, he's got to track his boyfriend through his criminal mark. God. True. It's actually a public thing. Once you have that mark, you're in a registry <laughs> for anybody it. Anybody can find oh, it. Oh, God. <laughs> you just show up as a red dot on the map? Oh, no. Ugh. Christ. Do I need do I need to point to the sign? The sign being the the fucking edit I made last episode that was real bad, with, with the fucking red <laughs> location. Oh, oh, dude! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Yeah, <laughs> Meet Jack. The satellites. God damn it. Jack shows up, and Jack, uh, Jack and you say have a little moment of of you know homoerotic tension as you do with your gay rival in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, and he has a little bit of that too with fucking Tanner. I mean, yes, but, uh, you know, it's not reciprocated with Jack and Tanner. It is with Jack and Yusei. So, yeah, it's, it's just Tanner one-sided pining. Let's be real. Jack uh, shows up and is excited to hear that Yusei is competing in the tournament and has brought Stardust Dragon so that he can fight him at his best. But then Yusei explains to him he's not competing because he wants to. He's competing because everybody he cares about in the satellite has been threatened. And it sucks. And, you know... <laughs> Jack, uh, Jack just sort of shrugs it off and goes, eh. <laughs> he just kind of leaves. Not my friends. Uh, um, and, uh, old man who heard the story about the signer mark and what happened when, uh, when Yusei dueled the night that it first activated is delighted to see that Yusei has his dragon back because he wants to see that shit real bad. Holy shit, Yusei. Holy fuck, That's it's a, a dragon. Card. Um... I forgot that this is how Yusei gets it back. I thought he had to go through the entire, like, fucking tournament arc to get it back. Yeah, I thought no. it would be his reward for winning the final round. That it would be, like, anti-rules or something, and that's how he would beef up his deck, but no. Yeah, it's like, thankfully his rival's pretty based. He's just like, hey, let's have a good equal match on that. Now, Carl, I'm gonna need you to stop playing that fucking video. Please go. What are you about? <laughs> I was trying to put out a salient point, and you disrupted me with this fucking Chinese frog. I think it's 
actually funnier that I'm not listening to Carl's stream. So the audience at home just has to go based off of reactions alone as to how Carl is putting everybody else who's voluntarily joined this Discord stream, by the way, into I the torture I was there for Scooby Fortnite, okay? <laughs> I was just trying to, in, I was trying to make a statement, and then I just see and hear Frog speaking Chinese one hour version. Yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit. It's fine. We won't be here another hour. You're, you'll be free soon. Uh, well, thank God. Meanwhile, oh. as as Jack leaves, you say with his Stardust Dragon again. Finally, uh, Goodwin's in the fucking per, uh, the Peruvian temple chamber. With his dueling assassins, and we've never been more yeah. back. I missed when Yu-Gi-Oh was batshit and had <laughs> people in black coats yes. who were dueling Wild. assassins. I'm I... fucking thriving. I love this shit. So yeah, this show is so fucking funny. great, man. It rules. <laughs> when I was a kid, I guess I never fucking noticed just how much, like how heavily they were laying on. Yeah, Rex Goodwin's gonna be a fucking villain, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, if they tr if they laid it on any thicker, it would be, like, I don't, I don't even have the words to describe it. He's so clearly final boss coded, even if only just for they this. They might art. let you know in the intro. <laughs> yeah, no, the intro does kind of spoil that actually. Um, it's great. Yeah, he, he kind of has that snide smile on me. It's okay. They they're, they're pretty transparent in how he's kind of rough even in that. the earlier. He's episodes. also the rich guy, so, so like we should be suspecting yeah, the same one. Yeah. <laughs> So Anytime Peruvian... when you see like, whenever they introduce a lore guy, you're like, okay, there's they they're either good or evil. But since we have the old little guy who also is the lore dude, it makes it even more obvious. So the Peruvian uh, fucking <laughs> god chamber is great and all. Yeah, you know what's even better? Mm -hmm. The dubism of is that Joey Wheeler? No, it's his cousin Jesse Wheeler. Yeah, I, I was forgot it shows that up in this, this fucking early. episode. That's awesome. I thought that was a movie line. No, I thought that was going to be like in the set of episodes right before Bonds Beyond Time. I didn't think that was episode 14. <laughs> Insane. I was like, I was just sitting there like, yeah, this episode's pretty good, all right. And then I hear Joey Wheeler's fucking VA come up and I'm like, what the, what? Oh, I, right. He, I mean, he's voiced multiple characters up to this point. I know, um, but just doing the voice. Yeah. Can I say I I love Jack so much already. Just him showing up to you, say throwing him stardust and going, I came here this time. Next time you come to me. It's like Happy Pride. This is, <laughs> this is actual will. actual king shit. Oh, he loves taking it up the ass so much. <laughs> he and sure it's does. So good. I mean, have you seen the image that's on the screen right now? Quench my thirst. Yeah. We, oh, okay. I thought I thought you were something a little spicier than you, that. You're very excited about <sighs> the way it the way it was pitched to you. I think gave you. <laughs> I got me excited. So anyway, uh, after we get to see the god Jesse Wheeler, um, I don't know some some bitch some plant bitch shows up. Uh, uh, they call her Black Rose or something. Well, she's apparently a myth, but I guess she's real. Uh, yeah, because women are fake, and women who duel absolutely <laughs> not. Um, so Leo, gamer girls can't play Yu Gi Oh! Leo, yeah, was, and... was that one, uh, one tweet about like the girl that was like, I tried to go play Yu Gi Oh! but the smell was too bad. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that, oh, yeah. Yeah. that really is just how she reacted to the mark, huh? Yeah, yeah, oh. um, for, for some context here, uh, so this is like a just a back alley dueling arena, um. Leo and his friend Dexter, who called him up that morning, and they had a whole conversation about Yusei and how they don't know his identity, but he's a superhero. Um, they, Yusei and his small crew now meet Leo and this kid because they are looking for the Black Rose Witch, who is a myth in the dueling community. And then the Black Rose Witch shows up. She, she's just here. Myth my ass. That's a real woman in a coat. She's here. She she just shows up and she sees Yusei's uh, sign remark, which starts, like, having a reaction to a, a grown woman playing card games. And she goes, that's fucking gross. Get out of here. Get out of my fucking sight. Uh, <laughs> and she, like, I've, leaves. I've had that reaction many times in my life, particularly now because Carl's playing gator golf in the background. It's making this really hard to understand. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he it was very distracting we're like here's a serious thing that's happening right now and i just hear what what couldn't be great but with golf and a gator i watched this motherfucker load up the video <laughs> and i wanted to say something but i was like nah i'm, I'm gonna let him cook to see how much it fucks up casey it did yeah it really it really hit <laughs> i'm just not <gasps> paying attention to any of this it's great so so uh Yusei has another fucking little mini heart attack. He he grabs his arm. It's hurting real bad. His yep. mark shows up, and then um, the the, the this the black woman rose gets, witch. Yeah, she gets she gets really fucking offended by this like mark of a claw on his arm. She's like, "You can't have that tattoo. I have that tattoo." And she's like, nope. "You too." That sign's disgusting. No and he's like, I, "I I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> I don't want it." You have a crimson tramp strand, <laughs> tramp stamp too. <laughs> it's like a cold sore. Ugh. Imagine if a diehard Yu-Gi-Oh fan actually got the crimson dragon just tramp stamped on. Them. <laughs> I'm almost certain that's already happened. The designs are cool. They are very cool. Yeah, those those are just cool arm tats. So which part of the crimson dragon do you have? I've got the womb. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Uh, 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 the womb. Shout out to Yucky in the what, chat. What, anyway. what, what dragon is connected to this one? Oh god. <laughs> and it's like a, a blue eyes abyss. Oh god. <laughs> so. I summon in defense mode, have sex with it, and in my turn, please go on. So the Black Rose I'm, Witch. I really friends. wish they just kept going with blue eyes in this story. The, the, pl the, black, the black Rose Witch leaves because she's so offended by Yusei's tattoo. She goes into some other back alley and it's fine. Uh, and we hard cut to the day of the Fortune Cup beginning. Um, Lazar the power, and the Goodwin. The star, they shall all gather here. L L Lazar and Goodwin are in their fucking spectator box talking about their evil fucking plans and about how they'll finally learn the Black Rose Witch's identity because she was formally invited and she can't be wearing that mask to join the tournament. So. And in that scene, when they're like facing the window, looking out, there is a sign that says "Good Gob." Uh, well, it's a good <laughs> thing for you that that's on the wiki, so I can throw that on screen right now. Because I also noticed that, and it was very funny. Good, <laughs> good awesome. the gob. gob. Good Gob. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I can approve of Godwin's uh, no mask policy at the upcoming public event. I mean, he's going mask off, so he wants to make everybody else go mask off, too. <laughs> oh! A little too literal with it, but... Like, he knows it's supposed to be metaphorical, right? Like, it's not actually supposed to be about the physical masks. You think... You think bro knows that? You're right, he does look like he has an IQ of two. Speaking of someone with an IQ of two, why are you playing Spider Riders in this fucking browser right now? Stop it. All right, we're almost bro, done. We're almost done, and then we can bro, stop listening so to Carl's stream. It's fine. <laughs> we finished the episodes. Now we just got to talk least favorite and favorite shit. Um, least favorite card and play. Uh, Carl, fucking go first. No, my least favorite card first. was a. Uh... Fuck you. No, you're not reading my guys. Uh, you're not reading my guys. My favorite card is Black Rose Dragon. No, it's no stop. My favorite play is uh, stop. honestly stop. impressed with the Morphtronic deck. Stop. Sure, sure. We'll do favorites first, I guess. What is the format <laughs> anymore? All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I like Black Rose Dragon. My least, my favorite play was being the Morphtronic. Like, real good. Lock it in. All right, Don't Carl, you know our butt. rule. No dupes. What are your favorites? <laughs> 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 all right cool that that's a shame buddy bio what are your favorite card in play out of curiosity uh cobalt hedgehog is really cute yes. i like that a lot good taste. hell yeah man i don't know if we've seen it before but i like it we um, have <laughs> <laughs> and uh favorite play is like the the synchron animation like where where he uh fuses them all together it's pretty cool i don't think we've seen that either yeah, the, the visuals for Synchro Summoning in the series are very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shara, what are your favorites? Uh, fuck you and your dupes claws. It's Black Rose Dragon. That shit's cool as <laughs> fuck. I wanted that card so Carl, bad as so a kid. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> Black Rose Dragon is so fucking cool. I wanted a ghost rare of it it's so, so bad. It's so funny. I was going to say that, but I decided to be nice. <laughs> 
I didn't want to come off too I strong. I throw up notes every time. I <laughs> come off notes. Well, if God. you hadn't tricked me with your evil music so often, <laughs> none of this would have happened. My favorite play, I guess, is the Morphotronic Maglock. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. That was, that, that was, was kind of right. sick of this eight-year-old to figure out an, uh, a, an unbreakable setup that got it's, broken. It's very cool that this that this child learned how to do a fucking warrior lock in a, in a new meta. That's it's crazy, really yeah. fucking cool. Uh, Marauding Captain. I right. summon a second Marauding Captain. You can't target. God, yeah. Um, Magician's Valkyria lock. Man, oh. I, I miss Magician's Valkyrie. I should rewatch Pyramid of Light. Anyway, my favorite card is Scrap Iron Scarecrow. It brings back good memories of me using it and making people mad. Uh, I I love it. I can't wait to see more of it. Uh, just just delighted any time it shows up in Yusei's duels. Easy, I like how it's gotten remember? like negated more than I expected for so far in the show. Yeah. Easy, don't you? Do you remember when we used to play that in Dueling Book and we'd always just flip it back down and use it again the same time? Yeah, it got <laughs> really weird when I when I you know. We did that, and then I just packed three after that, and you got really mad. You, you, <laughs> oh, man. Kill you. Ooh, it was bad. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Shibuya? Yeah, what's up? Uh, fuck, I just checked Twitter, and apparently... Hey, you remember how I mentioned fucking <laughs> Boss Goodwin? Oh, no. Apparently, Daito, uh, at D-U-L-B-W-R-Z, I don't know how the fuck to say that at, had already made this months ago, so uh, congrats. Well, oh my god, fucking, fucking calling you out. Th this is a this is a contender. This is a fucking contender. Oh. Now. It's not the first time we've ever had a fan contender. I, it's that's real solid. I don't want to make it a contender on this one purely because uh, you know I've always been uncomfortable looking at boss from smiling friends. This one doesn't make me feel any better. In fact, I think it might make me feel worse. <laughs> So, but yeah, we don't know. I the mean, artist, it's good, and we should use it. It's I I respect the art. I appreciate it. If you get me the link to the tweets, I'll retweet it on the account. I'm not making that the thumbnail oh, for my. Own I opinion. think it should here, replace here, my character with that Mr. Boss for this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, Shora. Oh, it's Daigato. Okay, sorry, my brain is like fuck. I I'm bad at fucking connecting Twitter accounts to Twitch. Shora, name. can I pay you to draw Carl as Boss from Smiling Friends, but the head is Brog? Make him regret <laughs> his words. <laughs> Can $40. I pay you money? How much? Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Hell, okay. uh, hell to listen, you. Listen, hey, if you want to you a commission, you I'll be nice on this one. Hell if the chat to wants you. To Can I have forty helpings? Forty dollars. You're more please. than welcome to pay. Hell uh, to right. you. Can I have forty dollars? You know what? You know what? I will fucking. I'll put this out to the entire chat. I'll make Smiling Friends versions of everyone in this fucking podcast for, like, an even hundred. Uh, I, I would be curious to see your, who you assign uh, me shot? right off the top. Because I know who I want, but I doubt I would get I will not tell any of them who I assigned to them. <laughs> they will find out next episode. How do you do that thing where you, like, give people that, like, PayPal donate link? Uh, I think it's paypal.me slash whatever username you picked, but uh, it's fine. Hey, Shora, check PayPal. Oh no! Wait a minute, I'm waiting for the email to show uh, up. I never discussed my favorite play, so while I'm waiting on Shorter to get the email confirmation, mm -hmm. uh, my favorite play is genuinely um, Leo setting up his Morphtronic combo and immediately just having it uh, usurped by you say just going, No! No, I just uh, reverse all their battle positions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. You, you can't get away with this for free. Ugh. <laughs> uh. All right, now, least chat? favorite. You've been given a challenge? Crowdfund the horrors? <laughs> uh, Wait, I actually have VIP, so it would actually let me put that PayPal link in your chat. <laughs> let me not do that. <laughs> I was going to do it as a bit, but I was like, ah, that's too far. Hey, yeah, my least Carl favorite card is Tore Apart. Yeah. That thing was hideous. Come on. And my least favorite play was this cop stalking children, but you say he's not a child, he's 18. So is, it's just yeah. this cop in general, because he's a fucking creep, and I don't like his vibes. I mean, yeah, A-cab, so I get it. He's really fucking, like, cops are gross, but this one's like, oh, God, dude. I mean, he's a little better than that fat fuck that was pulling out his nose hairs and flicking him at people. That yeah. is the, maybe the worst of all time. That flashback <laughs> that, is yeah, sub-exclusive in that Ooh. first episode of The Batch, so it's really upsetting. Oh, I hate him so and, much. And it's and it's framed like a fucking Far Cry cutscene, so he's like really just he's throwing them on you. 
Oh, yeah, it's horrible. bad. Um, my least favorite card in play. Uh, my least favorite card is Pursuit Chaser, not because it's bad, but because it's Pride Month. <laughs> and well, you know, <laughs> and I just sort I of should not be trying to generally. laugh when I hear Chaser. <laughs> no, it's 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 fine because I'm making the joke <clears throat> this time. <laughs> um, and my or least favorite. And then never mind. I remember now. Yeah, uh, my least favorite play. There wasn't really a play that was bad enough for me to call it least favorite explicitly, so I'm just gonna say fucking Goyo Guardian taking the mirror and healing the cop's life points. Fucking... I think Trudge should have died in an explosion the way we thought Arrow did in the flashbacks. I think that would have been a much better ending. Yeah. Who else has their uh, least favorite? Did we do that, everyone? That we've done. Oh man, before. I don't think I even. I don't think I fucking did mine. Um. Yeah, least favorite. So go ahead. Yeah. Man, I don't fucking. I I'm gonna say that one Morphtronic that they called like a fucking USB thing when it was clearly a lighter. Yeah. Just fuck that thing. Um. Children can't I, know I don't what really have are. a fucking. I don't have. I don't know what a fucking least favorite play is for this one. Honestly, it just nothing. Nothing. Nothing bad. Um. Yeah, I also struggled. Don't worry. Luna being a hater. There you go. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, KZ, what you got? Least favorite. Uh, least favorite card, Goyo Guardian, because he no, seems abnormally thin. <laughs> he seems abnormally thin in the animation. In this <laughs> yeah, underweight Goyo really Guardian. Scary. And uh, he hasn't been feeding him properly. Yeah, it's like, come on, dude, you just got him. Uh, but also, least favorite play was when we started this, Carl, Carl playing the Ultimate Muscle theme song. It made everything really hard. Oh. That's why I don't tune into that fucking screen share. <laughs> but I need to steal those oh, notes. No. You can you need, you need. That's, that's <laughs> steal his notes. <laughs> All right, bye. At least I'm stealing my notes. Uh, I worked really I hard like, on them. I didn't like Go Your Guardian. Uh, I don't really know if I had a least favorite play. Uh, Name just... three plays. Carl talking. That's my least favorite play. That's okay. fair. <laughs> All right. My least favorite play is to be born. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> well, I'm down, the Carl. You weren't alone. abused like I was by bio today. That's true. I'm defending you. I'm defending your honor. Wah, wah, wah. Next <laughs> episode <laughs> of Millennium <laughs> Microphone 5Ds will be covering is that, episodes. Wait, is that, an, is that what? Is that a thing? Sorry. Next time we'll be covering episodes 15 to 19 of 5Ds, and that'll be on June 15th will be the live recording. June 16th will be when the pre-recorded version uh, goes up on every other platform we upload to. So look forward to that. I saw a lot of people saying that they watched up to 15 and were confused. Uh, if you want to see which episodes we're covering for a given uh, episode of No Mike 5Ds, on Twitter, our display name changes to tell you what episodes we're doing next time. Oh, so, shit, doesn't it? You can check that as well. Yes, it'll be that, yep. and then it'll be the date with month slash day, because that's the best format. I'm sorry, Europeans, you are wrong. So, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. Damn. Yeah. I'm glad that we can finally, like, lay this out here. Also, Imperial. What the fuck are meters? <sighs> I don't need yards, I need feet. They measure shit in stones over there. Yeah. Yeah, stones like apparently a fucking about 14 pounds. It makes no fucking I'm, sense. I'm glad our measurement is about. <laughs> like, fuck the fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad <laughs> that when we chose to um to denote pounds, we, we decided to na name it after the Spanish word for pounds, which is libras for some fucking reason. It's awesome. Why did we do that? Nobody's ever told me why, that we why did pounds that. Is, fucking, LBS. is that why pounds is yes. fucking LBS? Yes, oh that my is God. exactly why. Because it's for the Spanish that? Libras. That's fucking dumb. It is, but in a charming way, you know? <laughs> God, words are just made I don't up. know how charming it really is. Well, everything is made up when you think about it. It's fine. We're all just flesh mecca. 500 yes. cigarettes. <laughs> Five... <laughs> Hundred cigarettes. Does anybody have anything else to say before I, I take us out with five hundred cigarettes? Huh? 
if you guys are playing in YCS Indianapolis, I don't know how the fuck you're listening to this if you're there. Hope you're doing good. Uh, hey, you should activate that Ash Blossom if you're listening to us right now at the YCS. You should activate that right now. Do it. <laughs> Just a reminder. It's worth chat. using Cross Out on that. Trust me. They don't got Nibiru, bro. <laughs> use, use the left card. <laughs> Which left? Last my left card. or my opponent's left? Yes. Shit! The left one. Just a reminder, chat. Uh, Shibuya has paid me fucking forty dollars to do the to do the Carl Brog box. Yeah. If, if somebody completes it for the last sixty, <laughs> the entire the entire Mill My cast will get fucked up into being smiling friends. Yeah, for the people who are here live, if you pay for a sixty more dollars, uh, he will can assign all of us to the smiling friends, and it'll be very dirty funny. brown water. <laughs> dirty brown water. You are absolutely. I haven't watched that Alan. Show. Uh, I think you would like some of it, Bio. Not all of it, but yeah. some of it. Well, because some, <laughs> yeah, some not, of it's adult swim humor, and that's very hit or miss for a lot of people. Mm. But it's okay. It's also relatively short. They're like 10 minute episodes. Yeah. They're very fun. Uh, all like, right. I saw one part where the guy, like, right, go ahead. Now I'm, I'm just going to duff and uh, fix up. Hey, you're if, I, if I don't do that, then the ending song will end early, and uh, we can't have a repeat of that happening. <laughs> It's always awkward, so I'm just gonna... Uh... Oof, alright. Uh, thank you all for listening to the Millennium Microphone. Uh, I still cannot believe we made it to our third full season of Yu-Gi-Oh! D- series, not season. We've done God. It's been nine seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! Ten, if you count season zero. Um, and it, this would not have happened. We would never have gotten this far without you guys and your support. Everybody who listens, everybody who uh, is part of the Patreon, everybody who shares the show with their friends. We appreciate you. We see you. Thank you so much. And because we're still relatively new to this and we took a three-week break, this is your reminder that all of our live recordings for the show happen on the Saturdays that we announce at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time instead of 2 o'clock p.m. the way it was for GX. So make sure you set an alarm, you stay up to date on that. It is 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, with all that out of the way, oh, the music ended. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, we will we'll see you next duel. Uh, there we go.